Mom. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all acknowledgement, honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the name of the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, who the world will ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Yahweh means He is, He exists, and Yahweh Shai means He deliverer. Hey, double, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that have taught us this truth and they continue to do so. And Shalom to our brothers doing this mighty and powerful works in hopes of salvation. And to you believers out there, Shalom unto you. So we're just going to go right into prophecies and um, the plagues going on. Get that, that second Ezra, and uh, the brother can get uh, Amos. Second Ezra, uh, 16, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Second Ezra, 16, 18. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginnings of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear. Oh, 17, my bad. It's uh, Second Ezra, 16 and 17. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? So what Ezra is seeing was uh, uh, the beginning of all hell breaking loose upon the whole earth. You know, uh, famine, shortage of food. He was seeing uh, people die from pestilences. You know, like when you see a movie, and then they say they show like the, the start of the movie, the breaking news. It's an outbreak. It's a, people are dying. The population is starving. So what Ezra's was seeing was all the things that are going to befall the earth in this time. You know, famine, beginning of wars, pestilence. You know, a lot of suffering. Yeah. It says, uh, "What shall I do when these evils shall come?" Behold, famine, plague, and tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Yeah, the Heavenly Father is sending um, a whooping upon these people, but they can't see it. You know, they can't see it as such. There's so many things, so many diseases, so many evils that's growing upon the earth. And these people can't see that the Heavenly Father is, is punishing them. But they ain't going to get right. They ain't going to get right. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victual shall be as good, shall, shall be so good cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow up the earth, upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So right now, while everybody is locked in today, Sports, fantasy league, while everybody is at home watching college basketball, college football, while everybody's getting into the new Call of Duty, while people is uh, making TikTok videos, and, and you got people going to Saturday church, all these evils are growing upon the earth as we speak right now. Bad times are growing upon the earth, you know, yeah. but only the prophets can see it. I got a piece of it. Got all this going on. I, that, you're talking about that monkey. Uh, that no. monkey. Uh, I can't say it. Cold, cold. Oh, okay. That thing over there in Africa, man. You know how that shit is spreading. All right. They're also talking about how uh, everyone's social security has been leaked. All right. You know, hey, that, that's a big thing, man. You know, it only takes one thing to, for people, to scare people to take that. All right. The secure device that's going to lock everything in. All right. Isaiah 5 and 12. And the harp and the vial, the tablet and pipe and wine are in their feast. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. All right, the harp, the vial, the tablet, all these are musical instruments. Having fun. All right, Jake's all into having 
people are having fun. Jake's always partying and having a good old time. You know, they distract themselves with folly, they distract themselves with the pleasure of this world, not understanding that the Lord's at work. All right, bringing these prophecies to pass, man. Bringing these pestilence, bringing in the, the MOTB, bringing in Jacob's trouble, bringing in the major war in the Middle East, man. All right, the Lord is making moves. All right, we see what's happening throughout all the world. All right, the people here in America are foolish because they're, they're distracted by all this stuff that I got going on for them, man. Okay? Hey, ignorance is a bliss, man. You can only have your head in the sand for so long until, hey, shit, finally gets you in the face, man. All right? You want to continue that? Yeah, It says, uh, the old victual shall be good, shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. If only these people knew what await them around in the future. If they only knew that let's say a couple months a year from a year from now what await them they will try to get themselves more prepared they will they will lock in they will try their best especially our people to repent or change but you know it wasn't set up for that you know the Lord wants two-thirds of our people to be caught up in the bullshit so they could be judged but if people only knew what was coming man you know they will revolt against the government right now. Now, if you knew what was coming, what's the right mindset to do? It's how to be saved from this. Yeah. How, do, how do you be saved from Jacob's trouble? How do you be saved from the hour of temptation? How do you be saved from the family of pestilence and the war that's coming here? The only way to be saved is if you seek your how by Shimei with with all your with all with all your soul and might, man. Okay, seek him diligently. You know, you repent, get your mind right with the most high. Go out and do his work, work out your own salvation and spirit assembly. Alright, try to live by his ways. Alright, as best as you can in his world and in his flesh. Hey bro, a lot of people are gonna seek the Lord at the last minute. The scripture says they shall seek me early in their uh, affliction. When it's too late, that's when everybody wanna get it right. But it's, by then it's going to be, the Lord ain't going to show no more mercy. The doors of mercy going to be closed by then. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1. It says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right when you're young. Okay. A lot of people want to, you know, wait till they get old because by, that, by then they already had all the fun. They already had all the, all the experience in life. You know, so they want to you know, act all holy and now, act like they've been serving the Lord all their life. And in reality, the whole time when they were young, they've been serving their flesh, you know, doing what they want to do, which is not pleasing to you, how much you know, shot. It says, remember that, remember now that creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, and thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in it, right, while the evil days come not. Okay? day is coming. Alright, a day like no other before. Alright, and when you when you when you first hear this word, when you first come across the men of the Lord and hear the and hear, and hear, hear the message that they're bringing on to, that's when you're supposed to get your mind right, man. Okay? That's when you're supposed to seek your how about Shimmy how shy. You don't wait, you don't put off as the scripture says, putting that off in the Lord from day to day, right? Yeah. So you're supposed to seek him once you get this word. You know a lot of Jake they come up, they may receive the message, you know, they may receive it with joy and all that, but then they go on about their life, all right? Because in reality, they don't really believe what they just heard, you know? So Isaiah chapter 47, verse 8. Therefore, hear, hear now. Oh, 48 and 7? Oh, 47 and 7. Oh, okay. This is therefore, hear now this. That were given to pleasures and dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, 
neither shall I know the loss of children. That's the spirit of Babylon. You know, Babylon feels untouchable, so it trickles on down to the people. They're, they're careless. Yeah. You know, they're given to pleasures. They're, they're maxed out in their flesh, in their worldly desires. You know, they're too caught up in the world to even see what's really happening in the world. Yeah. They're always having fun things to do. They always have video games. They always got social media. They always got a TV and internet, you know? But soon, those things will, will come to an end, man. You know, when the day of evil happens, when the internet is cut off, nobody's gonna watch TV. What are you gonna watch? A blank screen? You know, the emergency uh, 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 thing? You know, it's, these people are given to too much pleasures, and that's why Thessalonians, um, the fifth chapter talks about then sudden destruction because it's going to catch people off guard. People are going to get caught off guard and judgment is going to pour out out of nowhere and immediately. You know? So Matthew 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Basically, like, he was going into the distractions. Everybody's giving into marriage. So the elites are putting out all these distractions. You know, sports, uh, bread and circus. You got a uh, rat beast. Everybody's all into all this, this madness. You know, like the brothers going into, you know, you got the pestilences, it's all all time high. Some new strain is being released. You know, you got uproars of the people going around. Over in the UK, you got race riots. Over else got wars, rumors of wars breaking out all over the place, man. That plate, hey, it's just all the prophecies are just heating up. Earthquakes. And we had three back to back earthquakes in California, man, the past couple of weeks, man. I didn't feel any of them, bro. Yeah, I thought that last one. Yeah. You did? Yeah. yeah. Those were major earthquakes, man. We felt them, man. Yeah. Some brothers didn't feel the last one, you know, I didn't really feel it. But I saw things shaking around. But that's three earthquakes back to back, man. Yeah. So you never know. It, it, it progressively got stronger and stronger. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming, bro. Yeah, just going to the scriptures. It's like living as the, uh, as the days of Noah. Nobody cares, nobody's out here listening. You know, everybody's out here partying, giving a marriage. You know? Everyone's in their own world. Their own world, own bubble. Their own little bubble, man. They don't care what's going on around them until that bubble is popped. Yeah. Until they have to face reality to what's going on around the world. So what you see going on with upwards around the people, you know, people starving, people starving around the world. All that's gonna come here. Wars, all right, the civil unrest. All that's coming here, man. I, which we don't understand that the Lord is saving, saving the best place for last. He's saving America for last, man. All right, if you don't think what's going on around the world is coming here, think again, because it is. All right? Yeah, about to elect a president, so to speak, you know? This regime is letting a lot of those northern kingdoms up in here, man. Migrants, that's going to cause a lot more racial tension, you know, between the tribes. You know, the most high is bringing them here to judge them. You know, talking about they want to flood this place with you know, 50, 50, mic, 50 million. I think that's the goal. Man. 50 million? That's Somewhere the around there. Man. The most high is all the northern tribes up here. They can be judged, you know? Right, like the brother said, slowly, it's all coming to America. You know, yeah. but that's our job to out here to let you know. All right, I got quick another quick little preview real quick, bro. Go, go ahead. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war of evil and of pestilence. And his brother just read about what Ezra is, man. He was a prophet that came before us. And he's back here today in the reincarnation. But he prophesied about the evils that were coming. You know? And that's, that's, that's our job now today. To prophesy about what? The evils that are coming. Man. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people have been using the word prophet just like carelessly. So the whole world don't even know what a real prophet is. They think a rap dude is a prophet. They think a dude in the church that's uh, performing fake miracles is a prophet. They're confused of who the real prophets are. But the scriptures tell you a prophet 
going to speak against. He, he don't, he's not for the government. He's going to speak against the government. And he's going to tell the truth. The evils that's going to happen within that government. Within the world. That's the real job of a prophet, man. You know? Book of First Thessalonians 5, 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because we're watching. You know? For ye, for yourselves, know perfectly that that day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, the, the Lord always described um, the, the earth going through something as birth pains. Yeah. Or like uh, sorrows, mm -hmm. you know. Something that can't be escaped. Yeah, something yeah. that, like a woman, if yeah. she has birth pains, she can't, she can't run away from it. She has to deal with it. She yeah. has to deal with it. It's going to come eventually. Yeah. So that's what's going to happen to the earth, man. It's going to go through birth pains. Hard for birth pains from Yahweh by Shem Shine. Right? Uh, there's a point I want to make. Read over again. Okay. It says, For when they shall say peace and safety, all right, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Yeah, that's the spirit of America. Every time there's some chaos or there's like a, 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 a plague, everybody's like, Oh, there's a cure. Oh, yeah. peace and safety. Oh, okay, we can fix it. Peace and safety. Things are going to get back better. But then it says sudden destruction cometh upon them. You know, out, out of a out of nowhere, destruction could happen. Just the other day, they had a, a crash of the Microsoft system. They had cyber attack. That shows you out of nowhere that peace and safety could be threatened. Yeah, if, that was good. That came middle of the night. Bro, woke up four in the morning, looked at the news. Oh shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> That remind me of leave the world behind. Out of nowhere, in the middle of in the middle of the night, the morning, the whole world could change just like that. Yeah, you're gonna have people that are gonna be partying. You know, what I mean? you're gonna have people that are gonna be out of state, not home. Yeah, you have people on these airplanes, <laughs> from all of a sudden on the airplane, all the out of the sky. stops working, and they, boom, right? You're gonna, have, you're gonna have you're gonna have people at work. You're gonna have people all over the place, man. Uh, I think it's gonna be a normal day. Like when you see these movies, like. What was he, right? Yeah, it was like a normal day. They woke up, made breakfast, watched the news, went on about the day, and all of a sudden, what? All that destruction came. The zombies came and started attacking them. Bro, that's like every movie that's like critical. Nice. It's like just everybody going to work, doing the same thing. Uh, boom. And boom. Bro. Something happened. Boom. Uh, what's that? Uh, blind. Uh, bird, 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 box. bird box. Yeah. Bird box, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, first yeah, one, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a normal day. We were doing their business, we was picking up her mom, all of a sudden that destruction came. Alright? Yeah. That's how the C-19 hit. It just came out of nowhere. Then everything was shut down, you know? People were saying peace and safety, you know? Then all of a sudden that C-19 hit, the lockdowns hit. It's going to have to be that way again. The Lord said it's going to come like a thief in the night. All right? The, the cyber attack thing, right? Mention yeah. that again. People that were in there expect to go travel. They couldn't travel that day. Yeah, they got stuck. Right. Yeah, they got stuck, bro. You know, you, you never know. You think you're gonna make it to your destination, but you end up not making it there at all. Man, that's why a lot of these people that prep for the day of evil, the doomsday preppers, all these people that got plans, it's not up to you. When that day comes, it's up. To, it's up to the Lord, man. And wherever you're at, hey, that's where you're gonna be at. You know, you can't escape. What the Lord has planned for you, you know? Just back at uh, Thessalonians, you know, it, uh, it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, no escape. The only people that are going to escape, like it says in Ezra chapter 9, the them them that believe they have works and faith, they're going to be preserved from the set of perils. Only these men that are fearing Yahweh Shemel Shai and doing the work, 
you know, Lord willing, we are the hopeful elect, are going to be be able to escape in those days. Even Jacob's trouble, the Lord says, only only his elect gonna escape. That's what they speak and like it. Yeah, exactly. Even the time of Jacob's trouble, he shall be saved out of it. He shall be saved out of it. Right. The elect. You know, that's why we're telling our people to repent because what the Lord is bringing, you can't find your way out of it. You can't. Oh, you can't escape. You bro. can't escape. There's no hiding in a bunker. There's no, oh, let's go to the mountains or I got a safe haven. Hey, even even the people that are go to the mountains actually make it to the safe haven. They're going to end up starving. Yeah, bro. Running out of supplies. Yeah, well, they even show that in our one uh, show on Netflix. Uh, I think it has Love and Robots. Y'all seen it? Oh, yeah, yeah. The first yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. I think I did. The robot came back on Earth and explained the apocalypse and how people went to the mountains and ran out of ammo and started eating each other and killing each other because they ran out of food and supplies. Y'all yeah. remember that? Yeah. yeah. That's right off the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. And the evil that's coming, it says in Hebrews 10 31, is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High. Yeah. Right? Because the evil that's coming, the Most High is going to bring that evil. There's no way that you can escape from it. You cannot escape the judgment of the Lord. It's going to bring a party. All right? You cannot, you cannot run. You cannot hide. There's nothing you can do if you're out but you're not shy. God is, God is uh, eyes set against you, man. All that's right? right. It's the Lord himself that's going to lead you to that path of destruction, of salvation. He says he puts... Uh, what you're going to do in your head while, you, while you're dreaming. Yeah. Uh, you know? So he's going to put what you're going to do, whatever hell you're going to catch, whatever death you're going to go through, he's going to put that in your mind the day before to go out and do it. And to go through it. So there's nothing really you can do. Uh, but I got a good pre. It's Isaiah 33 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. At the end of the day, it's all about wisdom and knowledge. That's the only thing that's going to get you, keep you stable. Even the the elect, the men of the Lord, man. They're going to be out here as pilgrims. Or whatever the Lord has set up for you. But you know, this wisdom and this knowledge, that's what's going to keep you stable. At the end of the day, it's the only way you can really prepare for it, man. The scripture says, um, the strength of wisdom is mightier than, um, uh, wiser than more, make you more powerful than ten mighty men. Your brother can get that in Ecclesiastes 7. Uh, wisdom, we're going to need wisdom of Yahweh Shem Yahshua to survive out here. And when things go, when things go chaotic, your wisdom is going to shine because a lot of people, they don't have common sense. And in the day of evil, they're not going to have no sense at all. <laughs> For yeah. real, they're going to do the most stupidest shit. Yeah. <laughs> Likes in their mind, I know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Especially because they're not gonna have phones. No yeah. phones. No internet, nothing that's gonna tell them, hey, what's going on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's so much chaos, you can have no idea what's going on, which is gonna cause panic and fear amongst these people. Sure. Yeah. You know, you're gonna be perplexed. I know what to do, and I know if you should stay in the house, I don't know if you should leave. Yeah. You, know, you know, you're gonna have people shooting in past that to the point where they're gonna stay in the house and they don't want to leave. Bro, a lot of right. people gonna be like sitting ducks, waiting on the government. But yeah, waiting wait for things to go back to normal, right? Yeah. You be wait, patiently wait. Nah, shit ain't going back to normal, man. Yeah. All right, all it takes is for one good crisis. All right, one yeah. good crisis. And, and when that crisis hits, however it comes, when it comes, shit ain't going back to normal. This life, we kiss a goodbye. This is why the scripture says we have to be pilgrims upon the earth. All right. right, not just in that day, but all, all the time, getting ready to have our minds to leave this place. Which the scripture yeah. says in Micah 2 10, come out of her, yeah. my people. When you come out, does not mean physically, literally, yeah. spiritually, get your mind out of this place, man. Be willing to forsake this world when you need to be. Oh, I got that. Um, Ecclesiastes, are we doing that? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 7 and 19. Ecclesiastes 7 and 19. Wisdom. Strengthen the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. Uh, you think of the mightiest people in the city. You have uh, John Jones and dudes in the UFC. 
most elite soldiers. What about the elite soldiers will be shipped off to war? Yeah, it says in that day the mighty men should cry their bitterly. Right. How? That sexual spirit. It'll be like unto men or it'll be like unto women. It's gonna be bad out here, man. Bro, your wisdom's gonna be greater than ten mighty men. You talking about men that nobody can really kill them on this side or even touch them in the cage fighting. Your wisdom gone. It's it's gonna be in that day. Wisdom is gonna be a powerful thing because right. you gonna have to make up. You gonna have to make decisions on the spot. And is that wise to approach a woman that's wailing? Uh, saying she need help. What if it's a trap? Yeah. That's going. Hey, that your wisdom is going to be powerful in that day, man. The spirit of the Lord is going to be upon you. That's yeah. right. You have to. The spirit of the Lord is going to be upon you to be cold to people. You know, showing no mercy and compassion. Right. In the sense of not 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 mourning for their judgment. Okay, because yeah. we're going to see it all. You know, when we see Jeremiah thirty-seven come to pass. That's how we know we're in Jeremiah 37. When we see the RFID chip come to pass, okay, we're in Revelation 13. All right, when, when we see Esau be like Mad Mary, Spirit None, we think of scriptures like 2nd Ezra 16. When we, think, when we see uh, Esau locking these people up, these contrition camps, we think of what? Jeremiah 15, all right, where it says the uh, captivity for the captivity. All right, when we see these prophecies, we don't know that, okay, this is happening. The Lord said that this is going to happen. The Lord said that the one should desire to go into another city, you should not be able to. The Lord said that there's going to be sedition among men. The Lord said he would bring uh, the plagues of Egypt as of, uh, he would smite Egypt as plagues as before. The Lord said these things. So when we see these things happening, we know, okay, this is the time. We're almost out of here. This, that's why I said, look up. Your death will draw high. When you see, when you see, when you see America, NATO going to war over there in the Middle East with Russia, China, all these nations. That's how we know that war with these kind of facts. Alright? We, 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 we know these things. This is why wisdom is going to be the stability of our times to where we're not going to be perplexed or be, un be, be immovable insane, or be uh, be troubled in, in, in the spirit by these things that are coming upon the world. Yeah. We're going to rejoice. Alright? Right, we're going to rejoice forevermore because we know that our salvation is very, 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 very close, even nearer than we believe. Okay? Hey, the scripture says if a good man of the house would have watched, he would not, he would not have suffered his house to be bro uh, broken. broken into. Yeah, we ain't gonna lose our minds, bro. Our spirits are gonna be Lord willing in, intact. That's the difference between us and the world. They're gonna be broken, just like how CV19 broke them. When the when the day of evil come, it's gonna break them. They gonna they gonna they, their mind ain't gonna be be normal. You're gonna talk to somebody in that day and it's gonna be like blah, 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 blah. you know how like you talk to a crazy person? Yeah. It's like what the fuck is wrong with that person? In that day we're gonna have a, a stable mind. It's that fear. But, uh, the Lord also says that he beholds their angels. So part of that wisdom is knowing you got your guardian angel that's gonna guide you. The Lord said he's gonna guide he's the guide of them. You know, I kept my, my precepts and my commandments. Yeah, so the Lord's gonna guide you in that. Be not afraid, neither doubt for most times you guide, right? I got a precept. Psalms 57 and, and um, 7. My heart is fixed, O Most High, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Right? So my heart, Hebrew word for heart is love, which is your mind. Look at the word not, your, not, your, not your physical heart, right? When you look at the word fixed, it goes into a. Um, One, which means to be firm, to be stable, to be established, to be firmly established. Now, what's going to keep you firm? What's going to keep you established? Right? The, 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 the knowledge of wisdom, the faith that Yahweh Bashir Yahshua has given us. That's what's going to keep us firm. That's what's going to keep us established. We're not going to be perplexed. We're not going to be everywhere. We're not going to be like chickens without our heads. We're not going to be like cockroaches with the light when the light turns on. Uh, we don't know what time it is. All right? And people are going to see it too. People are going to see why are you not in trouble? Yeah, why, why are you happy? Yeah. You know, why are you so why are you so joyous when death is all around us? You know? Because we don't know that you know something that they don't. 
You know, you have to, hey, what's going on? What's happening? You know, trying to look for answers. They're not going to find them. As the scripture says, right? Um, it says, yeah, I was there to be fixed, to be securely determined. I got it. It's uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 2. And uh, I'll start at 5. It says, Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Lord. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth upon sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. All right, so like the brother was saying, Ooh. hey, the Lord is our defense, man. The people are going to know. Like uh, the brother was quoting Second Ezra 16, you know who uh, in that day who the men of the Lord are. Yeah. All right, just by uh, the protection that the Lord is gonna you know give his men and their families. All right. Yeah. A buckler is a shield, protection. People gonna see it, bro. They're like, you gonna see someone get trodden down. You gonna see people get chased by animals, and they they gonna look at you and like. Why is that guy? Why is that guy exempt? Why is that guy not being attacked? Why is this not happening to him? You know? It says, uh, He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the path of the judgment and preserveth the way of the saints. Then shall understand, then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yay, every good path. That's pretty much it, yeah. And the Lord is going to defend his men. All right? Back that up. This is 2nd uh, Ezra 2, 27. Be not weary, for the day of trouble and heaven is coming. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And it says, be not weary. That means we're going to, hey, we're going to go through some shit, bro. That's just because we got the Lord protection, he's feeding us. Hey man, we gonna witness our people. Hey, it's Jacob's trouble as a whole. We gonna go through some a lot of shit that's gonna be tiresome. It speaks about you that know? in Zechariah. The, the dirt are gonna be put the, put in the fire. Yeah, yeah bro, to so, the fire. We yeah. still gonna go through a lot of stuff. You know, a lot of headaches. We gonna be on the move all the time. Remember, these people gonna they're gonna see that the most high is taking care of you and they're gonna try to they don't they want what you getting like food shelter you know so be not weary when that time comes because then you're gonna be like i want the lord to come like lord check us out deliver us hurry up lord make haste you know uh, thou shalt be buried and have abundance the, he the heathen shall envy thee but they shall be able to do nothing against thee as if lord and like he was saying but they're gonna see you they're gonna try to rob you, try to take stuff from you. You know, they gonna see that you have Mary in abundance. They're not gonna be able to do anything to you that day, man. The Lord's gonna be your protection. You're gonna be protected. You're not gonna be able to come up to us, you know, talk shit like we do now we can, or assault us, or whatever. Some brothers are gonna get that power, too, you know? All the Lord gotta do is open their eyes for people to see the angels. Oh yeah, just like yeah. It's like a time in the Maccabees when they saw the angels. Yeah, yeah. Terrif terrifying. Yeah, so yeah. to the other nations. Yeah. Yeah, people think of grabbing you. They see you uh, in a uh, in uh, they see the heavenly angels around you. Yeah. Like, I remember the story. I don't know how to shoot it. I remember in school they used to tell the story how you had this guy waiting in the alley, waiting for a victim, right? And this girl walked through the alley. The first girl walked through the alley. He didn't do nothing to her. And the second little girl walked through the alley, but uh, she, uh, he ended up kidnapping her and killing her. When they caught the guy, they find out about the first girl. They asked him, why Why didn't you uh, kidnap, him, uh, kidnap the first girl? Because he said, I saw heavenly angels around me. Whoa. Right? Something, something to that matter. It's been, a, it's been a while. But these people, they, they come to our but they see angels around me. I right, see the the, the the heads around you that they oh I can't do nothing. Or these the, ain't these ain't these ain't human beings. Yeah. Or the countenance on you, bro. Right. Like a super austere, you know, uh, countenance on you. Uh, like terrible countenance gonna be on you, you know, for these people. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Daniel and the lions. You know, the, uh, the lions didn't you know, attack Daniel. Oh, they, 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 they,
angels of the Lord are around you, well, it's Ben. It's Tekken. Yeah. Yeah, said that too. This is uh, Second Kings 6 and 15. And when the servant of the man of the Most High was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and saw, behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. Right, the angels and chariots protecting Elisha, man. Because it says, those that fear the Lord, there the angels are camping round about. All right, hey, one angel can do the job, yeah. you know, one angel. But remember, it's a hedge of angels. Angels, one, it's a hedge of angels. All right, it was a bunch of angels, a bunch of chariots that was around Elisha that the servant of Elisha was able to see after Elisha prayed. So think about it, man. You may not see the angels, but the Lord can have where other people can see them. And they're terrified, man. You know, they don't, they don't even think twice of messing with you or looking your way, you know? In that day, they go, the, the scriptures talk about apparitions. So the Lord going to unveil that, that, that where, they, where they can't, you can't see the other dimension. The Lord might open their eyes to where they see the angels. They gonna be, some people going to be seeing, seeing demons and shit, you know? Hey, that's why it says, second Ezra 16, they shall they know you are my chosen. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be known who, who the servants of Yahweh but It's gonna be known who, who the heavenly Father and the Son are dealing with in that day because of of the miracle that's gonna be happening upon 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 the men of the Lord. Hey, bro. Now you mentioned that story of Lot before he was delivered. He seen the angels when when the people came after Lot. When the evil niggas of Sodom and Gomorrah came after Lot. The angels were there, yeah. you know, in the flesh, right. and defended them. That, that, that may happen. Angel come down in the flesh, and defend you. You know. Yeah. Another quick three, real quick. In Isaiah 31, 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, He will deliver it, and passing over, He will preserve it. So yeah, man. Chariots, man. You may not be able to see them, but they're up there, man. Yep. And they're defending the elect. Sometimes the Lord lets you see them too. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. All you gotta do is just look up. Yeah, let's get closer and closer to the end. Yeah. The chariots are gonna show, show themselves more and more, man. So that big fathership cracks the clouds, man. Yeah. I got this here in Psalms 91 and 10. It says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall there be any plague come nigh to thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. And the angels they love they charge it goes into a command. Yeah, right? Safe. So those gonna command the angels to protect his men. To protect his elect. And we know how the angels are when the, when the Lord commands them, they love to do it. Alright, they do it perfectly. They do it with diligence. They don't make no mistakes, they do it after they just know. like how the Heavenly Father wants it. Because like the Lord told me that I'm gonna they, they, they happen with it then they get the name called the Lord man man, they're gonna do it perfectly, man. So, you know, so don't think that any harm is gonna happen on to you or your house. Alright? Because the Lord's gonna keep charge. The Lord's gonna command the angels to protect you. They doing it now. Yeah, Because we are in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death. Oh yeah. Right? A lot of, a lot of, we can die any moment, man. Oh, yeah. We can perish and consume at any moment. But the Heavenly Father guides us, man. The angels. Hey, you never know. You may you may uh, make a wrong turn, but uh, hey, that's the right turn. The turn that you're heading may may be danger of all, or the judgment was about to be there. So the Lord is like, oh no, servant of the Lord is gonna go to so have him direct his steps, man. Okay. Even with uh, when when Yahushai, when Yahushai was being tempted by Satan, uh, please say uh, said that he um, put yourself against the stones. So he has he has um. Angels charge. Matthew four. All right. So this is the book of Matthews. 
chapter 4, I'm going to get to the point, um, all right, Matthew 4 and 6, it said unto him, if thou be the son of God, son of Yahweh, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash that foot against the stone. So the angels were always protecting Yahweh's shot. He wanted you to look off him. In, the, in Mary's womb, so when he was a child, the angels were always there, you know, always protecting. Make sure your house shot even, even, even trip or fall. Yeah. You may run into, you may walk against the stone. Sometimes, you, you know, you fall, you trip. But hey, your house, the angels were always with your house shot, protecting them, making sure no harm will happen onto him. Well, been, hey, we being the servants of your house, bless you, house shot. The angels are always around us, making sure no harm happens onto us. Okay, protected us because they were given that commandment from the heavenly father and the son. And it's, that, that scripture says the same exact thing, bro. Right. So not only we the have same the same God. protection, no will. Yeah, same got the word. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me throw a scripture out there. The, I, 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 yeah, I was shy. This, 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 you know, try to tempt them. What yeah. the yeah, I was shy to do when you continue reading. It says, um, Verse 7, Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Two scripture back at him. It was a sword fight. The sword, we go into the armor. In Ephesians 6, the, the sword is the word of the Most High. Alright, saying through his sword, but Yahweh Shai blocked it and threw it, uh, uh, threw his sword right back, man. Okay? It's back at Psalm 91. Uh, it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, and to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up. All thy ways. What does the scripture say? He's a guide unto them that keep his commandments. Yeah. Hey, the angel is going to be there. Protect us, guide us, make sure we're good. Yeah. You know? It says, uh, They shall bear, bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion, the adder, the young lion, and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. That's going into spiritual powers. At some point, in, the, in them times, some of us are, are going to need that power. You know? yeah. We're going to need that power to defend ourselves. You know? Yeah, it's going to be dangerous at every turn. Yeah, seriously, dangerous. Yeah, that angle. Yeah, Bobby Shaw. No escape. Only escape is through Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. The Lord here. But think about it. The Lord is going to help his men. Find help, bro. Miracles. Miracles. You got to expect miracles. It's easy being in this flesh to always expect, ah, what could happen to you? All the bad shit, you know. It's easy to expect that in the flesh and meditate it for you. You got to put up way more thoughts. Expect miracles. Yeah, these days are coming. It has to happen. That's the only way for Yahweh shall return it. Jacob's trouble, MOTB, Lord 3 comes. That's why it says, Yahweh shall told us, when we see these things, be not troubled. So don't be troubled in your mind. Don't be shaking in your mind when you hear these things. You gotta have faith and hope and trust in Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh the rock of your salvation. He will deliver you, man. Alright? Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Christians, you got Christians, you got Israelites. I see like, I seen a, a thumbnail for IUIC and it shows the disasters, plane crashing, America uh, burning. Like what the, what good is it for you? You know? If you don't truly believe in the Lord, what good is the day of the Lord for you? you know? As if a man did flee from a lion in a bare meadow, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Yeah, you thought the evils was over. Finally, I'm, I escaped the, the militia. Finally, I escaped the, the soldiers, the robots. Oh, finally, I escaped the pestilence. Finally, I escaped the famine, and then death is waiting for you somewhere else, you know? 
That's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be death at every turn. We yeah. talked about it. You know how people always skip all that, right? The sword. Yeah. Famine of war because they got their bunkers. Yeah. You already have people that are gonna escape just so they can feel the fire. So that's why yeah. you're not going to escape. Are uh, you not going to? You're not going to escape the the uh, the, 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 the nuclear missiles, man. And yeah, there's gonna be people that be uh, that are uh, put to death and brought back just for that fire. Right. That's going to be the judgment of the Lord, but you can't escape that. Alright? If the Lord wants you to go through it, He's going to yeah, He's gonna have you go through it. Man, there's people that are so proud in America think that they can escape the judgment of Yahweh Shabbat Shabbat. Yeah. Like, uh, that, there was that one movie on Netflix. The guy tried to outrun the, the missile with, like, a truck or something like that. Yeah, you, you can't escape what's coming. Alright? Not on a boat, not on a truck, man. Hey, they're hypersonic. Alright, once they hit, man, they're going to hey, they're gonna hit. The Amos again. No. You finish with that? Uh, no. Nah. As if a man did flee from a lion in a bare meadow, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Right. You go into your bunker. You escape the famine. You escape. You, you escape Jacob's trouble. You're in your little bunker. And then what bit you? That nuclear missile. Hey. Don't put that ass, man. All right. Is any bunker here in America? All right, you cannot escape that, man. You cannot escape the missile. All right, even if you're in a bunker in America, America is going to be totally destroyed, man. Okay? It's going to be totally devast devastated. Wipe wiped out. Not like wiped out from the earth, but it's going to be wiped out. Okay? Yeah. There's no way to escape. There's no way to run, nowhere to hide. Like, ICBM is going to take like 30 minutes. Or ICBM to go to Russia. To America, and that's old technology. My brother mentioned hypersonic missiles. So what is that? 15 minutes now? For the missiles to get here? I mean, nothing you can do, man. You gotta ask yourself, right? This is supposed to be a God third nation. Uh, God supposedly blessed America. Why has it why did uh the Lord bless Russia, China, yeah. North Korea, Iran to have hypersonic abilities? But you being a God fair nation, America hasn't even have the ability to make even Bro, one hypersonic missile. Not even one. All right. Which, hey, the Senate, they passed a, uh, a bill, uh, I believe, 20, uh, uh, 2030, right? That uh, the bill that was supposed to, uh, they have until 2030 to build defense me mechanisms oh, yeah. against that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then they, 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 I think they also passed the bill to try to speed up the process in a, um, in a, uh, Building a hypersonic missile, man. Okay, think about that. America is supposed to be God's for a nation, but like, God, God's with this place, but you don't even have the the, the, high, the, the best technology to, 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 of weapons. Yeah. Okay? Well, the, 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 the enemies do. What shows you what? Ezekiel 28. The Lord's going to let the strangers upon you, right? If you think you're a God, the Lord's going to show you that you're not a God, you're just a man. That's right. Said uh, Trump, he mentioned that he wants to build an Iron Dome, like what Israel has, an Iron Dome missile defense system over America. But that's not going to work. At the end of the day, man, people say the men shall break their ranks. You know. And it says city without walls. That goes in deeper. Defense system. You ain't got, you ain't got no defenses around America. No area or nothing. But Israel eyes don't go in the work. That's supposed to. Be. Plus, the most high really hasn't released that destruction yet. So, you know, most high spirit was, you know, when he most high ready to destroy Israel the way he's going to destroy it. You know, hit their iron dome, it's going to work. And the Lord's ready to destroy that place. Man. But you see how the most high played Esau? Had him think he's big and bad. He said, I'm still a widow. No one could uh, suffer no loss of children. Yeah. You know, I should not be a widow. No, but I shall not be moved. I, I, I am I'm no one else. Roughly paraphrasing. Oh. But look at it. You can't even defend yourself against nuclear missiles if they were to be launched. You know, you can't even defend yourself against an invasion if they invaded this place. You know? That's why the, the scripture says in Obadiah, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. The pride, it, you were so proud, you couldn't even see yourself get defeated, man. Yeah. He thinks he is the most high, man. 
tries to sit in the seat of the motorcycle. Maybe it's technology yeah. and all that. And that's where that pride comes in, but you're not. You know, most I gave you wisdom and knowledge to build, you know, those missiles. Yeah. It gave you that wisdom to create that technology that you got. Right. Who are you to think you could think uh, change people's DNA from a birth and put thoughts in people's head? You, you're just a man, man. You know, Esau is not a god, man. And Yahusha is going to show him. So, 2nd Ezra is 9 and 6. I'll start at 5. For like as all that is made in the world at the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. And the end is manifest. Yep. You know, you see in the signs of the times, you see in all type of majestic sights in the skies. Yep. You know, blood moons. Uh, oh, yeah, it's beginning, right? Yeah. America had a beginning. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we're coming to America's end. Yeah. Just like King of, uh, just like Babylon, they had a beginning, and they had an end. Yeah. These Persians had a beginning, and they had an end. The Greeks and the Romans had a beginning, and they had an end. Yeah. Now modern Rome, 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 modern America had a beginning, right? And they had an end. We're coming to the end. America's not, it's not, America's not going to go on forever. Man. The only thing I can't see. The only people that I can't see that is you American people. I think, uh, I think America is going to last and have this great dominion over the earth forever, man. You're, you're, you're out of your mind. All right, because the Lord's bringing an end to this place, and it's manifest that the end is coming. Based on all the signs that has happened. So it's, uh, seven. And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works. Word, escape. Thessalonians says no escape. Yeah. There's people that's gonna escape. Shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from that set perils, and shall see my salvation in my land. Hey, so our actions is gonna lead to a, a reward, which is being being delivered. You know, of doing this work. Being a part of this ministry is going to lead to you being saved, you know, Lord willing. You know, doing your part. You believe and works. You know, uh, what did James says? Work, works without faith is, faith without works is dead. You know, so we're showing our actions that we really want to be saved. We really want to get delivered when evil days come, you know. And the Lord will. It will deliver us, Lord willing. It says, shall be preserved from that said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning. Meaning these are men that are preordained to come into this ministry to show their faith through action and to get delivered at the end of the day. You know, because what's coming, none of us can deliver ourselves. No weapon out there can deliver you. No group. No government, you know, the Lord is going to bring judgment upon the earth. And only the elect is going to be able to escape. Uh, uh, Matthew 24, 13. For he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. He's going into the, uh, you know, his, uh, shall be escaped by his works. You know, so that's why it's very important to stick it out. You know, don't let them demons push you out this truth, man. You know, don't let your mind, you know, defeat you, man. You know, let no man take good. that crown. That's a good way to say it, bro. Thank you. If you're the elect, you already have a crown. Yes. You have to go through the process of getting that crown. Yeah. It's uh, the book of 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So as the brother was saying earlier, man, hey, this, this labor is not in vain. All right, this is what's uh, going to uh, save us out of this place. All right, with this 
destruction comes, when danger comes, and the Lord sees all of it. All, all that uh, these brothers are sacrificed. And bro, in the day of evil, when you see that uh, okay. you're, you're being delivered from certain events, you got to thank the Lord that you stuck it out. Yeah. You know, you got to thank the Lord that you did what you had to. You know, you gave an effort. You know? That's when you can uh, cash out, you know, yeah, the treasures. Speaking of uh, in Matthew 6, are the treasures in heaven. That's right, yeah, bro. The ones that were stored up. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be able to cash out in those things. The scripture says, sow in righteousness, reap in mercy. Mm -hmm. In the day of evil, evil you're going to reap that mercy that you, uh, um, for all the righteousness that you've been sowing, you're going to reap that mercy from it, you know? You're going to cash out like this brother said. Yeah. That, that was it too. Let's go back to that. Uh, what he's talking about. This is uh, Ephesians 1 and 11. And whom also we have obtained the inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of the Lord and the trust in our God. Whom he also trusted after that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and whom also after ye believed, ye were sealed, for with that Holy Spirit promised. Those was predestinated to the beginning of time, man. You're part of that elect. So you're gonna make it to the end. These are one of those scriptures that you fall on that day, man. Wisdom and knowledge of the disability of thy times, man. That's one of the knowledge and scriptures that you have to think of that day when you put in hell. That you made it all the way to the end. You're just waiting on that chariot, man. Right? Yeah. But you endured until the end. You read that scripture. The same shall be saved. When all hell breaks, us, we ain't gonna be out here teaching. So you gotta keep that faith to the very end, man. Right? You know that you've been predestinated. And scripture's gonna flow in that day. When you catch in hell, when you go when you, in, in, in evil days, Scripture's going to flow, man, so you're going to be stable mentally. You know, you're going to constantly think, like, okay, we got to go through this hour of temptation. Yeah. I, we got to stay upon the Holy One of Israel. You know, it's just going to flow, and it's going to keep you. Go with it to the end, man. Yeah. There's a uh, book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 4. So it says, uh, For whatsoever is born of the Lord overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Ooh, our faith is going to make us overcome at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's why you got to remove yourself from the world, man. Huh? Yeah. It takes faith to do that, man. It takes sacrifice. Can you yeah. do that again, bro? Yeah, you have to do that again. That was tough. Yeah. So uh, 1 John 5 and 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Faith, that's the victory, man. It's all about faith at the end of the day. Overcome the demons, overcome the temptations, ultimately you know, overcome the MOTB, man. During that hour of temptation, man. It's all about that faith. That's why it says, He that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Him that they, they kept, they keep, they, they have faith to the very end. Part of enduring, you gotta have faith that you will make it through. You know? That's why when Yahweh Shai come back, he said, Shall I not find faith on earth? Yeah. Because men gonna be believing. And because of their belief, they're gonna keep going. And to the very end, man. You know? I got a uh, there's something that's going on in endurance again. This is uh First Corinthians 10 and uh 13. This is there are no temptation taking you, but such that is common to men. But the Lord is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So even when we are being tested, know that the Lord, man, He knows your limit. He knows how much you can take. All right, and He's not going to give you any more that, you, that you're not able to handle. All right. Even, uh, even in the day of evil. In the day of evil, yeah. Still Especially in the measure, day. Of, yeah. We're still going to get a measure of, of temptation, of trials. Yeah. You know. But you got to uh, reference back to this uh, precept. All right, the scripture. All right. But the other day, you're still catching the same hell that everybody else is catching. Yeah. We're catching the same hell that the two girls are catching. We're catching the hell we have our shot. Yeah. He's not going to put you through anything that you can't handle. 
but at this time, you can't do any time to take up trouble. Man, you ever told brothers some, some shit and you think it's the craziest shit you ever told somebody? And the brother's like, oh yeah, I went through that. <laughs> I went through that already. <laughs> you got to do this or that. So, you know, we all going through the same thing, sometimes a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Some brothers battles a little harder than other brothers battles. But at the end of the day, it's still a battle to that brother, you know? Different brothers are given different measures of faith. Different brothers go through different things in life, different walks of life or whatever. But we're all catching hell. You know, it may not be the same type of hell that you're catching, but it's still hell to that brother, you know? Because you can handle it. You may not, you may not be able to handle the hell that this brother's catching. That brother may not be able to, hell to handle the hell that I'm catching. That's true, bro. You know? Every brother's different. Most eyes have different cases. Even, even in that day, bro, some brothers might not be able to handle the concentration camp. So the Lord put them out there to be in the wilderness. They're on the day as pilgrims. Or the brothers that are in the concentration camp probably can't handle being a pilgrim, you know? So, hey, man, yeah. we all going to get tested either way. Some brothers are going to be martyrs, you know? Yeah. Those eyes going to put that spirit on you to deal with that martyr, that martyrdom, you know? That's part of your life. So, going back, it says, uh, But the Lord is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted, above that you are able, but will with that temptation also make a way to escape. Yes, yeah, the Most High knows your limits. He created your spirit. He, knew, he put your spirit, He knew your spirit before you were even born, man. Yeah. He created your spirit. He knows what you can handle, what you can't handle. All right? And he yep. knows how to make a way for you to escape it. Hey man, I was telling this brother, uh, brother, brother about like, sometimes the most high will have you on the escape route, and you don't even know you on the escape route. Like Ray Charles, like, where is the Lord? Like, you looking for the escape route? Yeah. But the Lord is making a way for you to escape right there, and you, you just, right you're there. just going through right it, there. you know? Sometimes we don't see it, but the Lord always make a way to escape. You know, brothers might have been going through some things, and he's like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. But the brother's just moving, and that's the escape. <laughs> that's the escape. The Lord keep you moving. Yeah? That's the escape. All right. Well, real quick. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. In Jeremiah 1 and 4, then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify you. Guys go. And I ordain the a prophet unto the nations. Yeah, the Heavenly Father created you. You would have possibly a person like that is the first fruits. You know, first he created with by Yahweh Shai, for Yahweh Shai. And the Heavenly Father knows you. You got a relationship with the Heavenly Father beyond the womb. Yeah, so, you know? Before I formed thee in the belly, I, I knew thee. thee. Yeah, you already knew who you were, man. You lived, you lived multiple past lives, man. Yeah. You know, created your spirit. You know what you can handle and what you can't. That's why I said, never fear, never doubt. The Lord Most High is your guide. So, going back to the Corinthians, so, 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and 13. It says, But well with the temptation, also make a way to escape. That ye, that ye may be able to bear it. All right, so hey, the Lord, you know, like the brother said, he's gonna guide you all right, to that escape, man. all right, to, to get over it. But we are still gonna be tested, all right? I was uh, hoping this other one, that's a beautiful piece of Yeah, come on. It's very comforting, because you know, you might, you might be going through some things all the time. Why is it such a headache? But then you just remember like, look, there's an escape through this trial, whatever it, it might be coming forward. Yeah. You know? This is uh, the book of 2 Peter, chapter 5, and I'll start at 7. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. All right, all your doubts, your troubles, your anxiety, your fears. All right, we cast them to, to the Lord. All right? Hey, well, Majority of the stories in the scriptures, the great stories, yeah. what did they do when they were in like burdensome situations? They prayed. They prayed, bro. So that's going to carry us to the end, man. 
asking the Lord for help and praying to the Lord, you know, because certain things, burden is a load. Certain things you cannot handle. Yeah. You know, you really need the Lord to deal with it. And we got to constantly pray to Yahweh Shem Shai. And praying is a, a, a constant thing. That's why Paul says, you're supposed to pray without ceasing. You can never stop praying, you know? Peter was in jail, Paul was in jail, they were praying to the Lord and got, got delivered. And he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, you remember me. I remember you, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How is it going? Oh, it's good. Oh, good, yeah. You can do Lebanon. What was that? I didn't hear you. I went to Lebanon three times. Oh, you did? What's it like oh, over there? I don't even ask. It's crazy, huh? Is that? No. Oh, oh. Not a good people. Something I saw today in hand. A mother took the shoes off her kids, put them in a fire so she can warm the room. Oh man, yeah. That's how bad it is, I swear to you. The bread, the father couldn't get bread. He was going through the crash. This is between Christian and Muslim. They split the country. Right. Also Christian lives. Nobody help. Yeah. Nobody corrupt government works and look now Hezbollah making so much money, so much money. Each of them has a house, car, the best hospital up uh, in, in South Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Iran built for sure. them. And the other side is Iran. Are you for Iran? Are you for Iran or are you for are you for? Are you for? What side do you want? So you say there's a big war going on over there right now. I'm his side. I pray every side. night asking because my sister has 19 grandchildren. She lives there. She has eight kids and they all married. And you know, they all in the under the ground they scared. Yeah. Because Israel said if Hezbollah bombs, we're gonna bomb Lebanon. Oh. They have no they hate them, but they because we have corrupt government, they're scared. They, they cannot take them out. Sure. And you got from Libya, yeah. from Africa, they all there at south of Lebanon. I'm not joking, okay? All getting paid from uh, Iran and well, each of them has a car, unbelievable. Ferrari, I saw Ferrari up there. They, I went to sell my land. Israel burned my land, 1,000 uh, olive tree. Why? Because Hezbollah was hiding in the tree. And not only they burned it, they fought for it. I couldn't sell it. We got an answer for you. For what's going on? Uh, and that the word, but not. No, Syria is getting earthly. It's Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Yes, yeah, so the wicked are in authority. Whoever is funding Angola, Iran, is really the elite. Who do you think behind them? The elites. This country. The Why elites. are they not shut it up to Iran? We could not have done it. They paid millions of dollars. Five white guys, hostage to bring back off. 400 million Obama paid yeah, to Iran. Yeah. Why? Because Why? We just said it. When the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. So the wicked don't care about the people. They're going to make the people suffer. That's you why the people are mourning. I ask God, what color are you? I ask God that. You and sometimes I ask God, we ask you to forgive us. But who's going to forgive you when children are dying under the bomb, under hungry? Who's going to forgive him? Answer me. It's the people that are in authority. I'm They're angry. Evil. I'm angry night. Nice. I can't fight be angry with at God. Yeah, I fight with him to stop it, to yeah. stop it. Children has no sin in this. They haven't seen life. Children dying. It's because it's dies. bad. People who are running the earth, they're evil. That's why the earth is suffering. So when the righteous are the authority, when I don't when have to we rule, what I do. When we rule, we, yeah, uh, okay. yeah, I wish I'd come back. I live on 140 one month. And I get 1,300 social security. I the rest of the money.
money I sent to Middle East, donation to have children, people that are hungry on the street. I see them going through the trash, picking up food. When here they throw the food, look at the homeless. We're not doing anything for the homeless. Fat men sleeping on the street. 18 million immigrants entered here. In between them, Hezbollah. It's here. You have a right. You have a right to be angry. I am. The scripture says, "Oppression maketh a wise man mad." How much can you help? And now I wanted to cross the street. That guy there. Nobody's looking at me. You can buy him a sandwich. Don't give him money. He's so skinny. He probably didn't eat one week. I know maybe he's alcoholic, but it's not my problem. I'm not buying him alcohol. Buy him food. I don't give money. I bring them sometimes here, ask them, panda. I feed them here. Take whatever you want. And I pay. God said, I feed you feed, I gave you give. Eventually, you know, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah, but eventually, you know, that place is going to destroy the world. It's going to come back. Everything's going to be good. My mom, she's that. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, People rejoice. The righteous are authority, the people rejoice. Or the righteous are that day is coming. Or the righteous are going to be the people. When? When? So tell me, when is the end of the world? Because when it has to get bad first. Time. This has to get bad first. It is already. It has, it has, to, get it has, it has to get worse and get terrible worse. before it gets worse. great. But we know it's end. The end is soon. And we prophecies. So that's how we know. What you see in the Bernard, it's pretty good. War, family, our death is coming here. people, the on the and the country, and everybody else has it. I don't buy a car, fuck it, I take the bus. Sorry. Okay? I'm not ashamed. My husband was running president to Lebanon, I divorced her here. Not one dollar, Arab. Yeah, the people are, are I seen rising it. up. You know? I seen yeah. the money. I seen life. But yeah. now I feel with the people. And believe me, I cry. I cry every night. And I pray for it. I'm with the end of this. But you, you got to stop letting all of this stress you up. This, this part of prophecy. This is how it's supposed to be. I know. I read it. What you got to do, if no woman, you're an Israelite, is get your soul right with the Heavenly Father and His Son. And you got to know who He is. How He gets down. No, he controls both good and evil. So we got it. They put baby in the oven. That's that's that. Hey, hey, that's hey, yeah, that's part the of the Lord's judgment. Was breastfeeding from his mother, Palestinian. They killed the whole family. That child is not making the bath. What's his mom? But guess what? Those people that do the evil, they have to pay. But right now, we can't get well, emotional. That's I how the Lord pray. operates. I'm not afraid of that because I know I'm a good person. They don't think this will end. Don't they think that he can have a heart attack in the blink of eyes and gone? Yeah. They don't think that. They don't think in crossing the street they will die. They living for themselves. They don't think about other people. They don't have the fear of God in them. It's okay. No. That's, that's why the Lord going to destroy this place. Yeah. Don't want you to fight. Me how you make sure that there is God? That I was going to be. So, uh, the book of Matthew place. chapter 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. You can hear about Hezbollah versus uh, Israel, Iran versus Israel, proxy wars, How Ukraine, about? Russia. Yeah. Be not troubled. Yeah, Russia. Be, be not troubled. Because these things will have people in fear. Oh my God, what's going to happen next? Are they, they going to blow up the whole earth? They don't. They still no. shop at Beverly Hills. It says... <laughs> you're gonna, with the rumors of wars, you're going to hear about war crime. Because when... Already rumor started. Means, rumor Trust. means reports. And, uh, uh, rumor. Uh, reports and gossip. So war gossip, you're going to hear about women getting raped and all that. You're going to hear about heinous crimes. But what about touching Be not troubled. Please, please. Says, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Why is the end not yet? Because the gospel has to seal all of the elect before the four winds, the destruction happens. 
You know that the whole world is going to go into a nuclear war? And America is going to get bombs dropped over here? Nuclear bombs is going to destroy America for all the wickedness? These people are going to have to pay for all the things that they have committed in the earth. And everybody here for love of money, materials, all of that. The Scabber Channel showed us in the United States there is a city under the mountain. City, house, everything. Tell me who they build it for. The rich people, when the farm comes to run and hide. Yes. Yes. How do you know that? That's good. Why they build it? Because they know about the judgment. They know they're going to get judged. I saw it right to the day. And when I told everybody, nobody believed me. I saw it on the Discovery Channel. Yeah. And then they never showed it again. Uh -huh. So you're seeing and things. And God bless you. Keep the good work. I hope somebody stops and listen. Listen. Yeah. And turn okay. around. You know? Yeah. yeah. God right, bless you. Be safe. Bless yeah. you too. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. So, I don't go to church because you have to give money. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's part of that upwards of people, man. Like you said, she said, thank you for listening. A lot of people are, are pain or hurting, angry, especially when in the Middle East. Talk about pain. You put in the oven. Hey, but that's how it is, man. That's how we know we're in these last days, man. Hey, you got this angry, angry. That spirit, bro. You said upward. That is, a, but she's older. She can't do nothing. Like what about the ones that the young, full of youth? They they gonna be doing something soon, man. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Proverbs twenty nine to two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Rejoice, man. When Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are elected, put back into that power, we're not gonna have all that anger, even the slavery. We're going to rejoice. Why? Because we're keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know? We ain't got to worry about them being buck broken, mother effing, all that shit that we had to go through to sleep, right? You ain't got to worry about pollution, none of that. Pollution, they got real food, fresh air. You know? They're going to have wives, you know? You ain't got to worry, worry about your kids freaking blowing up in their sleep and all that. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you follow our laws, you know, you'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> in slavery, you know, right? Even in laws. slavery, you'll be good. Yep. Good. It says, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. The wicked are bearing rule right now. That's why you have mourning all over the planet Earth. That was an example of mourning. Yeah. 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 It says, yeah. thank you for well, 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 listening to me, man. Yeah, she said uh Israel like took her land or whatever, man. She's she's in pain, she's mourning, man. Yeah. They burned up her land. Kids were being killed over there, but that's part of the Most High's judgment as well, you know. But the wicked are in authority right now, man. Man, that's how all of them feel that we're about to get these. Yeah. He saw us, he's coming down with great wrath upon him. Yeah, I got a preset. It says, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Wars, rumors of wars, all time high, you know. Well, uh, Ukraine just, yep. which, that's not Ukraine, Ukrainian soldiers. NATO soldiers just crossed and, and going into Russia. Which Russia said, look, if uh, you cross. That's Ukraine. No, but it, it, it's Ukraine, but it's really NATO soldiers. They're running out of soldiers, bro. Yeah, they blew up a Russian yeah. bridge. Yeah. So they cut off like a supply chain bridge. A major, that was a major strategic event. You know? You may have uh, NATO bunks there. Uh, mercenaries. mercenaries. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not yeah. really just Ukrainian. It's NATO, bro. It's NATO. Yeah, I got it. 
Subjected the same hope. Let me skip down to um. By reason of him, by the reason, most I do what you want. He subject subjected us to this, this chains of darkness. Yeah, that's Go right. on, bro. And dudes are trying to make it all about the law when you're avoiding Yahweh Shai, man. If you make it all about the law, because now we have a, a way. We have Yahweh Shai, which is the way, truth, and life. You know? Verse twenty-two. We know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth and pain together to now. Let me read that verse in the NLT, right? Romans 8 and 22 in the NLT. We know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Why is the whole creation? Because of the wicked. Because the wicked are ruled. When Esau was given power, what is, what's one thing that he did? He took peace from the earth. Right, he took peace from the earth and brought war, pain, and trauma to all these nations. Uh, yeah, you have the kings of these different nations living lavishly, doing well because they're going by the agenda of Esau, you know, looking elite. But it's mainly the people that are being afflicted, they are, are, are catching the hell, man. Alright? This man is torturing everybody in his rulership. Alright, another one. Rock, um, uh, 10 and 1. Well, uh, Surak 10 and 3 says, An unwise king destroys his people. Because even Esau, the book of the least, the third general, they don't care about uh, the Edomites. They don't, bro. You Edomites didn't get the piece of the crumb. If they did, right. the regular Americans, Edomites, they would love the Rothschilds. They would love the, the elites, the Jewish. But they hate them, bro. Yeah, they right. do. They fucking yeah. hate their ass. They're always talking about You, you, you eat them, I drop the chemtrails, but you drop the chemtrails on your own people, man. Alright? It says, um, the unwise king destroys his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Okay? And who is the Lord going to set over? When that's possible, Yahweh Shai and the elect of Israel. Alright? King, well, the king of righteousness. Alright? Yeah. The Lord's going to establish his kingdom here on earth and righteousness. This is why we look for a new heaven, a new earth, man. 
Why the Lord's just the Lord the the Lord knows that the earth needs new management because the one that's currently ruling the earth, that's managing the earth, is destroying it, and not only destroying it, but by by his polluting, but polluting the people's mind with their wickedness. And this is why Yahweh is not only returning to destroy this place, but he's going to set order. All right. Back up back you up on that. This is all. Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Yeah, so that red horse, you know, that's Esau. He saw Edom. Right? And it said power was given unto him to take peace, peace from the earth. That's right. exactly what we're seeing. It's like what that woman had, had to deal with. You know, she wasn't. She didn't deal with no peace. The family didn't have no peace back home in Lebanon, man. She just don't know where to point the hey, finger. How, how 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 did they take peace from the earth? The sword. Yep. That's right. But they were blessed with it. Yeah, it says that. Uh, read that in the NLT. And there was, and then another horse appeared, a red one. Its rider was given a mighty sword and authority to take peace from the earth. And there was war and slaughter everywhere. Right, because hey, it says in the King James that they um, were fighting. Uh, read that in the King James, the last part, where it said they war with each other, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. And there was given, uh, I'm sure the top. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Yeah, kill one another for these wars. Uh, World War One, World War Two, and he had a uh, uh, bunch of Peter my nations. I war with each other. Yeah. Here in America, you had the Civil War, yeah. or the first uh, the, the Civil War, man. Okay. And hey, these wars—they're they're devastating, not yeah. only to the soldiers but to the people that live in these countries. Yeah. And the people in the Middle East, which is, this is going to be the next World War. It's going to be a devastating war, man. Devastating. All right, hey, when Ukraine uh, invaded Russia. Right, it's saying vice versa. Russia invaded Ukraine, but now when you see uh, Ukraine going into the Russian border and uh, uh, taking over the cities, people had to flee. Yeah. Right, with Syria, which was a lavish, luxurious, beautiful land. Right. Yeah. When 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 they when a war was brought to that place, the civilians had to flee and go up to Europe and and, and and flee from the land because of the war. Oh. All right, that was really caused by what Esau. All right, trying to trying to remove Assad out of power. Hey, same goes for Iraq. Same goes for Libya. Okay, same goes for Afghanistan, man. You, you Edomites are the problem on the earth. You talk about peace, peace, when there ain't bring no peace. All you bring is nothing but death and destruction. That's what follows, man. All right. Ever since Esau got out of the caves, got into power, it's number one. Yeah, got to America, war. War against Native Americans, war against the, the Northern Kingdom. Man, the war has get us wrong. No. We're not advocating for these other nations. We really care about these other nations. We're advocating for our people, man. Yeah. All right, because Esau, you know, they brought the most death and destruction upon these people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Sumo Indians. All right. We suffered the real Holocaust, man. The real Holocaust was our people. Death. But this thing said, and power was given to him, you know? That's his blessing, that's that sword. You know? So it was all set up, the spirit, man. But his time is almost up. So he was given that great sword? Great sword, yeah. That atom bomb? Yep. Now he has new missiles. I mean, not Babylon, but Esau. Great sword, man. Still that. Three, right? It's Isaiah chapter 14 and 3. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from thy hard bondage, wherein thou hast was made to serve. So yeah, our bondage here is hard. 
Isaiah 14 and 4 that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how hath the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased yeah so even after slavery this man ain't ceased he's still oppressing the whole earth even after he conquered the earth conquered all the governments he's still oppressing the whole earth the only way this man could stop is if Yahweh Shai come back and take him out of power. It says, verse 5, The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. That's how he's going to cease. The Lord breaks the staff of the wicked. Yeah. Hey, uh, you mentioned how uh, we're still in hardcore slavery. Yeah. A lot of us are Remember that Abraham Lincoln declared the uh, emancipation of the Right. Yeah. Which basically, when you go into it, right? Uh -huh. Look at that word emancipation. Emancipation up in the etymology. It basically means um, transfer ownership of. Transfer wow. ownership. So a lot of people think they're free, right? But rather, you still a slave. Those are transfer of ownership. You were transferred to the south. I worked for free labor, right? Trans back to the north. Just to the north. You were never free. What was these niggas still a slave, man? Given the illusion like you're free, man. You were still a damn slave. Bro, you you seen that movie with uh, Will Smith, right? Emancipation? What did he have to do? He had to go to sign his name and to the owner that was his slave master found out that Abraham Lincoln paid every slave master for every slave. So now they become property of the government. Yeah. yeah. Abraham Lincoln wasn't really about freeing the slaves, man. He was he wanted that money. The slaves would generate a cotton. Yeah. Because he wanted to build that transatlantic railroad. That's why he went to war with the South, because he wanted his cut. He wanted that pay. Yeah, because nothing to do with freedom. It's like, well, no, man, okay. because it was like they, it was like they were having private companies. All the Edomites were getting all that money. You know, it wasn't the government getting all that money at that time. Yeah. So that's what that war was about. People were profiting. Not they, the were, government. they were profiting. The government on didn't get the peace. Ah, oh, no, we got to fight for that. Yeah. Yeah. The South wanted to succeed, succeed from the nation. You know, because they were making all that money. They were like, well, we don't need y'all. Like, we're gonna be our own country. Well, Jake walking around like the free. Now nah, you're still a slave to this day. To this day, you're still a goddamn slave. Physical slavery as well. It's just it's, it's just transferred to the prison system. Yeah. That's what that movie of uh, the 13th was about. Came out on Netflix a few years back. On the 13th Amendment. It's really the use of prison system as the new, you know, slave slave trade. Man. Send you to prison, you work for free. I believe that's in the Constitution. You're free, except if, if you commit a crime or you go to prison. Damn. That's why they, they were so adamant about putting Jake's um, behind bars and making us the face of prison, you know? That's why they go so hard on making sure these rappers rap about killing their brothers and these women rap about stealing money from a nigga, setting niggas up. That's why Esau goes so hard, you know? Brethren. It's back in Isaiah 14 and 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. 
he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Continual, meaning to 2024 going to 2025, Esau is still, you know, beating the shit out of the earth, man. He hasn't stopped. He hasn't stopped. The so-called white man is a fucking tyrant. He's not stopping. He gonna keep going. All right, and these nations are about to find out. The Palestinians, they're finding out. The people over there in uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, and all them places, they're about to find out real soon, man. It says, uh, in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, man. The whole earth is going to be at peace when this man is taken out of rulership. You know, actual peace. Yeah, you know? and not just the people, but uh, like it will tell you right here. It says, uh, Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Thou art laid down, no fellers come up against us. Alright, so even like the trees, the wild, like they're going to rejoice. Alright, yeah. there's going to be no, no one, uh, he saw a man, he, all he knows how to do is destroy him. Burn out the earth's resources. All right, use it for uh, his fucked up reason. And then Esau will go on the news talking about save the planet, save the, yeah. one tree, save the trees. Yeah. What ass up? Yeah. You want to save the planet? Gather all white people and stink. Yeah. Burn your ass up. That's right. That ain't gonna happen. We gonna have to do that. What that one guy called it the final solution? <laughs> you gotta exterminate all white people. That's it. That's the problem. Hey, you white people are the problem. So you just don't see it, right? I have a precept for knowing how they do it. James chapter 5, verse 1. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Right, now the rich man ain't talking about Elon Musk or uh, uh, Jeff uh, Gozos, whatever his name is. Yeah. All right, the rich man is talking about you look at least, the true rich man. Uh, these are just forerunners that the look at least put as the richest man of the world. Really, Rich men of the world are these wicked elites like the Rothschilds, the Oppenheimers, the, you know, the 13 million families. They're really the rich men. Alright? So it says, again, go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, your garments are moth eaten, your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Right? Look at these, they have all this, all this wealth, store all up. this gold, yeah. all stored up, not even put it into use. But it's okay, store, keep storing it up, because that's for us. We don't take that back, that's for really us. Yeah. That's for really ours. We don't, that's going to pay for our floors, no wonder. Man, like it says in the um, book of Isaiah, let's see, uh, 20, uh, 23 and um, 17, right? It says, and it shall come to pass after the end of 70 years, the Lord shall visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her higher, sh shall commit fornication with all kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. And which shall sound like what? Sounds like, it sounds like America. Committed, uh, uh, that, that all nations have committed fornication with her, right? Verse 18. Her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up. For merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord. Who's that? The Israelites, the saints of the Most High. All the merchandise, all your gold, all your silver, all your precious stones, that's going to be for us. Okay? Hey, so bro, not only the power is going to transfer the wealth. Right. It's going to transfer to us. Hey, because the wealth never left. It's always been. It's just always been transferred from one kingdom to the other, like with Babylon, right? When Hezekiah was showing... Babylon, all his, all his house, right? Uh, the Babylonian, uh, um, um, I believe, messenger that came, Hezekiah showed him everything, all the gold, all this, all the precious stones that was in the house, that was in his house. And Isaiah went to Hezekiah and said, "What did you show? Uh, what did you show? Um, what, what, did you, what did you see?" He said, "I showed him all my house, everything." Oh, he Basically, showed him all the riches. All the riches that he yeah, had, he right? Messed up, yeah. Then eventually, later on, what Babylon came. And they took all the gold, all the silver, all the precious stones. That's why you read up Belshazzar. He decided to take the, the temple, the, all the gold, the cups, 
are out and, and, and you, all the utensils and, and you can read that in uh, Pete Daniels, right? All the utensils started to use it to party in the, the tray. That's when you had the the writing on the wall. Oh, yeah. All right. The point is, you had the rituals are always there. Robert yeah. Titus, he grabbed all. It's mainly all, in the temple. Right. Whatever the, 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 the we spoil the people, we take the purest gold, silver, and give it to the Lord. All right. Yeah. So, hey, the rituals are always there. Yeah. Exactly. So these wicked least they have it. They have it in these storehouses. Right. Yeah. It says, um, and the, her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up. For a merchandise shall be for them that do before the Lord to eat sufficiently and for durable clothing. Wow. All your merchandise is going to be for our use. We're going to put the gold, we're going to put all the riches, all the precious stones to use, man. We're not going to keep them in the storehouse, man. The scripture says that the streets of Jerusalem will be paved with gold, gold, man. Yeah. Okay? Stones and jewels built up that walls. I know you got some. You got some, yeah. Back you up. It's Micah 4 and 13. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. Let me read that in NLT. Rise up and crush the nations, O Jerusalem, says the Lord, for I will give you iron horns and bronze hooves. So you can trample many nations to pieces. You will present their stolen riches to the Lord. Ah. Their wealth to the Lord of all the earth. Hey, just like we did it uh, when we uh, escaped Egypt. Yeah. Okay, we took the spoils of Egypt, man. Okay. Hey, man, read that again in NLT. That was tough, bro. Rise up and crush the nation, go Jerusalem. How are we going to rise up and crush the nation? By the Lord making us the battle axe weapon of war. By then, we're going to be the sons of God. We're going to be extraterrestrial beings. We're going to be able to come down and crush the nation. The spiritual power was given to us by the Heavenly Father. The Son. True iron, man. He says, I'll make thy horn iron. The horn represents power. Right? Rise up and crush the nations, O Jerusalem, says the Lord. For I will give you horn, iron horns. He'll give you power to do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's good? Micah 5, 4, 13, right? Yeah. Well, Just like how Esau been given power, we gonna be given power. We gonna be the weapons, no willing. Weapon full of power, bro. Right. Walking weapons. Rise up and crush the nations, O Jerusalem, says the Lord. For I will give you iron horns and bronze hooves. Yeah, that's so, it. it's like it. Uh, the horn is like uh, strength, uh, rays of light, uh, like uh, fire to my eyes, laser to my eyes, like Superman. Uh, All right. That's uh, it's like it. For I will give you iron horns and bronze hooves, so you can trample many nations to pieces. Meaning you're gonna be unstoppable. When you when the Lord delivers us, Lord willing, and we come down, oh shit, it's time to conquer the earth, man. You know, we're gonna have new bodies, new powers, unlimited powers. Nobody can stand in front of us. Oh yes. You will present their stolen riches to the Lord, their wealth to the Lord of all the earth. Your stolen riches, because them riches that you at least have really don't belong to you. You stole them from us. Like, uh, yeah, the Queen Elizabeth, when she was alive, when she, was alive when she was showing and bragging about the golden chair, uh, the golden uh, chariot that she had, yeah, yeah. the actual chariot, you know, the actual chariot that she had. She was bragging about it. That's really us. That's really ours, man. Yeah. You know. That's how we got around. We stole all that from 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 Jake. Yeah. From the, from the Indios, man. From, from Ephraim. Hey, why did they call Puerto Rico Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico means rich port. What were they, what were they rich of? Rich of gold. Yeah. Alright, they at least have all that gold. Hey, the California gold rush. Alright, when they killed all the Gadites over here, just to take take what? The gold and the silver, the precious stone. And give it to the elites. Alright? All that is stolen. But we're going to take that back, man. We're going to take what? 
take what is ours. Right okay. now, Haiti is being robbed. They're distracting people with the gangs and the UN soldiers. Wow. The elites are stealing gold from Haiti. Stealing resources from Haiti. Yeah. Guess what? All of that stuff is going to be given on to us, no more, man. Because huh? yeah. it's, it's not yours in the first place. You saw? Oh, this is James 5 and 4. Behold, the hire of, of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cried, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Oh, all right, who are the hire of the laborers? Us Israelites that built up America and is still keeping it running. Really? Uh, Jake is keeping this place running. Without an Israelite, America will go down overnight, man. Jake's working these overnight jobs. Jake, 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 Jake uh, working out in the fields. Jake doing his laborers, rigorous jobs, building your, building your, your houses and your mansions. Yeah. Jake so over there in the, in the vineyard, all right? And you and kept back by fraud because what you give Jake is not ain't, worth ain't it. real money. First of all, yeah. you're not you're not paying Jake. You're not paying us what you really should pay us. Second of all, you're taxing the hell out hell out of us. The more that Jake make, the more that you devils take. Okay. Third, third, you're not paying us every day. Yeah, every day, bro. Okay. First, you wanna pay uh pay us. You got the weekly pay. You got bi weekly, and, if, and depending. You get by with you, the taxes more of you, right? Yeah. And you got money to pay. fucking crazy. Right. I saw him for like, like 400 something dollars away from my check. $400 oh, oh, in town? Yeah. You did more overtime. I did all the hell over time. Get back about fraud. That's get, fraud, hey, bro. You're not even giving Jake real money. That's yeah. fraud. Alright, that dollar that you, you devil's created, the Federal Reserve, which was created in secret, yeah. right, in Jaco Island. To, to, Put the Americans in debt and have control of the money system, man. It's not real money. Okay? That's not real money. Robin Jake, man. Make you, you got a lot of these jobs. They want you to work hard, but they don't want to pay you for it, man. They want to underpay you. I remember I had to work a job. I was like, I want, I want, I want 20 up, right? I always had that. I'm going to get 20 up. I ain't going to need that. Work the I got, I got my license today, like, all right? They wanted to pay me 18. They yeah, ain't going for 18. Yeah. I live in Cali. You know, how, you know how long, you know how expensive it is to live here? You know, I ain't, I ain't not, not going for it. You know, I gotta fight for my, you gotta fight for your earnings, right? But, but a lot of these jobs underpay you. They underpay, but they expect you to work hard. That's crazy, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. But all this suffering, when it says, it's kept back by fraud, cries, the cries of them which have reaped our incidents and here's the Lord of Sabo, just like the time we did. All these people find it just to just put through. Our people cried unto the Most High. Yeah. And the Most High heard our cries, heard our prayers. Okay? Now, is Jake crying right now? Yeah, Jake's suffering. They complain. We ain't not complaining to the Most High. But who's the one that's truly crying? The elect of the Most High. Yeah. And, and, the, and the elect prayers are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabo, which, which represents the Lord of Armies. All right. It says, "Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth." Who's that referring to? You wicked elites. You live in pleasure, man. All right, you don't, you don't catch up. You have the purest of foods. You wear the best of clothing. You yeah. live in the best yeah. of houses. Travel. You got a whole, you got a whole goddamn land, like acres of land. Yeah. Just to drive through your damn, uh, just to get to your your mansion or your palace, all right, or your castle, it takes 13 miles. You know, you don't have to drive yourself. You don't even know. You don't, you don't, you don't need to go to the DMV and get a license, you got right? Servants. You got servants. Okay, you living good, man. No, no worries at all. The only worry that you need to worry about is us waking up, which that's already happened. Yeah. You, that's what you're worrying about. That's what you, you can't. You can't get no sleep because you're seeing the Israelites calling on the true names of Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, so-called Negroes, Latinos. Them Americans waking up. That's what you're afraid of, man. Yeah. That's your worry. That's the only. That's the only worry that the elites are worried about. Yeah, it's yeah. us. The men are teaching us truth. Men are out in the highways of us. That's what. That's their worry. You, you'll be surprised at the, the, the wealth, the power that these men that's have. They're worried about us. They're worried about us. Yeah, that's what it's all about. 
can never be taken down. Right. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Terrible fear, man. Devils ain't afraid. These devils ain't afraid of niggas with guns. Oh, All right? They These devils are afraid with Jake and Bible. All right, teaching the truth. They call them on the names of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. That's what they're afraid of. And they see it happening. They don't just see it in California they, or, or New York where it started from. They see it all around the world. Yeah. We got brothers in Africa. Yeah. We got brothers in Australia. We got brothers in Mexico. And hey, let's not forget about the Northern Kingdom. Brothers speaking Spanish. And hey, one thing that Esau did, all right, it was divide and conquer us. Yeah. He divided the tribes. He make a hate. He makes us hate each other. That's why he does little things like, all right, have Ryan Garcia talk shit about niggas. All right, cause some divisions between the tribes. Ain't hey, shit. Shit ain't like that. Ain't gonna fucking work. Because the tribes come back together through this war, through the spirit of probably the Alba Shimi Al Shai, man. That's right. Okay? The ones that need to come back are gonna come back. You know, Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom. Two thirds of our people, hey, hell with them, man. We're gonna fight each other all damn day, so we can. It says, uh, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangers of their salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Yeah, but that's the point, you know? They sound comfortable, you know. They're in terrible fear right now. Yep. I remember when the apostles years ago they told the story about how they were out in the streets when a limo pulled up. This guy in a suit came out and asked, him, "Why don't you figure this out? We paid millions of dollars to hide this truth." You know? Y'all remember that story? Yeah, I remember that story. Yeah. So yeah, man. That's why they pay off all these different camps. You know? Yeah, they the truth. More than anything, the scripture says the truth overcoming or uh, conquering forevermore. Yeah, because the truth is always going to rise above everything. So the book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Every year they're meeting up. And it, it, and it be nations that you would think are almost at war, going neck to neck with each other. Why the hell are they meeting up every year, consistently? It's because they're trying to they're trying to keep us from Yahweh by Shimei outside. They're trying to keep our people from knowing their power and their heritage. They're trying to destroy our people still. Just you know? let us break their bands asunder cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them with his sore displeasure. The Lord's doing that now, starting with his word rising up. Yep. All right? His word, you are, you, he didn't, you, the elites are being vexed with his sore displeasure. With his sore displeasure because you see, you see the Israelites waking up. Coming back to the true nationality and the, of who they are through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, which is disrupt, disrupting your plans because you devils never had it to where these, these people are going to wake up. Yeah. Or you thought that you had it all control, man. You, know, you don't have you don't have shit control, man. All right? I got a piece of it. Isaiah 13 and 1. This is the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. 
shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. But well, what's the banner? This Bible, the scriptures is true. That's what we're lifting up, man. Okay? This is um upon a high mountain. The high mountain a mountain rep can represent government. In this case, the American government, the kingdom, Esau kingdom. Alright? We're out in the highways of powers, pops on the downfall of this place. Okay? And by us doing that, it says, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. To show you wicked elites. All right, you wicked elites have see us out in the hours of power. You watch the videos. They they watch. Probably sitting when they got them thrown or whatever doing, just watching, getting all the. You know how they got big planning uh, meeting table. Oh shit! Yeah, they watch it. They got. We gotta see what they gotta say before you know? they move. You know? he's, he's like that, bro. He probably, um, so the prophecy of this is coming. Let's do this. Let's hold off on this. They say this is coming. But guess what? Whatever you're doing, you're falling into the hands of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. No matter what you do. Yeah. I got another precept. Isaiah 30 and 25. And there shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill rivers and streams of waters in the day of the great slaughter, when the towers shall fall. So, again, there shall be upon every high mountain. All right, rivers, stream of water, represents this truth. Everywhere, around the whole world. Not just here in America, and in, in, in a major high mountain, but even these smaller governments, like Mexico, South America, Australia. All right, you got brothers out teaching this truth, man. Day in and day out, man, all right? So, so, Isaiah 58 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Going back to what we were originally with the brother, the lesson the brother started out with, it's a prophecy, right? Letting our people know their sins, letting the people know who they are, waking them up. You know, and that's what these elites are fighting against. Why? Because that's when, when the elect seal. That's when all that destruction's gonna come, man. That's when Yahweh Shai is gonna come back and return. So our job out here is to lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show our people their transgression up until the very end, man. That's right. right. Never wavering. That's right. All right? So they're doing everything they can, man. They're in fear right now. That's why this truth is so important to preach, you know? Because um, it's waking up the elect, and if the elect is woken up, that's the end for Esau, and that's it. That's why he's that's why he's in so much fear because that's gonna be it for him. Man, that reminds me of uh, when you have a shot. I mean, uh, when you have a shot when he was born with Herod. Yeah, yeah, bring that up. Uh, Go to Matthew two and one. Now, when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king. Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east, and are come to worship him. And this star was an actual star, it was a chariot. Yeah. You, 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 you soon as you find out why. You soon see why, right? Yeah. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. Right? Because Herod, by Herod the Great, which Yahweh shot him. Called him a fox, a, fo a fox, uh -huh. right? And a fox, a fox is what? No one has a slick animal. And, and why was uh, Herod slick and cunning? Because he was portraying himself like he's for, like he's an Israelite, like he's uh -huh. for the people. Because he had that tone. But he was all a right? terror. But he was a terror. Yeah. All right? His mom was an Israelite. His father was an Edomite. Okay. Sure. Now it says, when Herod the king had heard these things. He was troubled in all Jerusalem with them because they heard of the prophecy how Yahweh Shai is gonna is the king and how he's coming. Yeah. All right. And they knew of the prophecies. Just like these elites. They know they of the know. prophecies. Yeah, they, yeah. Know. they know of the elect raising up. They know that at one point the men are gonna get this truth. So they try to do anything to to ruin that. That's why you have the crack epidemic. You get the constantly flood our flood our put our food, poison on the food water and air to try to destroy us man to try to hinder the elect from waking up but you can't hinder this yeah. right that's why even on the common boards they'll have fucking robots of 
people set up to throw people off, like ask stupid questions or, you know, be a scoffer, to try to derail the truth or distract the people that are into the truth, you know? Yeah. That's what they've always done, you know? Uh, you got some, some Psalms 83, 1. Keep not thou silence, O Most High. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tomo, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let, the, let us cut them off from being a nation. The name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. So that was the whole plan, man. All the nations, man. If you down, it's going to listen. All, pretty much all the nations, man. They all got together. What you said, cut them off from being a nation. They know when we are, uh, we go off with our power, then we lose our power, man. When the Lord ain't dealing with us, then we have no protection. And that's what happens. You know, they threw us in slavery and yeah. all that. And they probably had a meeting yet. Yeah, uh, let's not call them Israel no more. Let's call them Negroes. Then after that, let's call them black. You know, let's just call them niggas. Oh, color. Uh, yeah, yeah. They all had. They all came in on the plan. You know. That was all part of Most High's plan. We went into slavery under all those nations. Uh -huh. That gives us justification for throwing them in slavery. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Back in uh, Matthew 23, it says, "When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him." Hey, cause, hey, Herod the Herod dynasty been married into the Hasmonean dynasty. Jake. Okay. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Yahweh Shah should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea. Why? Because of the prophecy of Eli and Micah. All right, let's, let's get that real quick. Uh, Micah, I think it's the first verse of Micah. Uh, five and uh, all right, five and two says. Micah five and two says. But thou, Bethlehem of Ephraim, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from old and from everlasting. And who's that referring to? Yahweh Shai, ruler of Israel. And that's what Herod was afraid of. All right, when he heard of Yahweh Shai being born, all right, of a Messiah coming and a ruler, he thought, man, this is it. I'm gonna lose my throne. I'm gonna lose my rulership. Yeah. I'm gonna lose my kingdom yeah. and what I've built and what my family has built. Okay, and as we go back to my, Michael, uh, Matthew five, it, it, right. the news of Yahweh Shai entered into the gates of the nobles. That's right. Uh -huh. He heard it. That's right. <laughs> he heard it. He heard about local news, something that was among Israel. He heard about it, and he's supposed to be the leader. He was afraid. Afraid. Uh, uh, we're gonna lose everything. My family, my family snuck our way, sneak, sneakily to get this position. I ain't about to lose it. You know, just like these devils today. They're not trying to lose their power that was given to them, by the way. They're gonna try to do everything to obtain that, but they're gonna lose it anyway. Because it's prophesied for you to lose it. It's prophesied for your war to come to an end. It's prophesied for Israel to be in the next ruler. And there's nothing you devs can do to stop it. You can try, but you are going to try, but you're going to fail miserably. Because once the hour shot comes, that's it. Your king is over. That's when that hour, the, that's when you got to count down the seconds, the last hour, right? Uh, back in Matthew 2 and um, four, uh, 6. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Ju Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people of Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Now this is the, the slickness of the, uh, the devil, cunning yeah. of the devil. Because the wise men didn't know that uh, Herod actually wanted to kill him. They actually thought he wanted to worship him. This is why, to the reading, it says, um, verse 9, When they had heard the king, they departed 
and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when he and when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and fragrances and myrrh. And being warned of the Most High in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Right, because the, the wise men didn't know that Herod wanted to kill Yahweh shot when he was a child. Okay? Right. The Lord warned him through a dream. I don't go this way. Go another way. I don't go back to Herod and tell him that he found Yahweh shot. Yahweh is not going to worship Yahweh shot. He's going he to try to he gonna kill He's going to kill my son. All right? And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will I seek the young child, will seek the young child to destroy him. Right now, y'all um, know that precept where it says, Out of Egypt, I shall call my prince, my king out of Egypt. Y'all know, you know what that is? Uh, I of Egypt shall my child uh, I, I have I called my son Hosea 11 and 1 Book of Hosea 11 and 1 It says when Israel was a child Then I loved him And called my son out of Egypt Right well, Which was Yahweh Shai Alright because Herod at that time Sought to kill Yahweh Shai, so the Most High appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to flee to Egypt. Which shows you what? And he had a lot of Israelites in Egypt. And Joseph and Mary probably had family in Egypt. They, they, that's where they probably went to right, for a period of time. This is why when, when uh, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, they didn't believe that Yahweh Shai was the Son of God because they thought he came from Nazareth. Yeah, well, you, you're from Nazareth. But it says that the Messiah should come out of Bethlehem. Yeah. And Yahweh Shai didn't even bother to tell them. They didn't want to believe anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yahweh Shai didn't even bother to tell them that he was actually going to Bethlehem. And tell them that account. He just let them be gobbled up in that, man. Yeah, and they probably, uh, Joseph and them probably used that gold the wise men gave them to survive in Egypt. Yeah. Right, it doesn't say that, but yeah, you never know, right? You never know, bro. Okay. Let's see, uh. So back in Matthew 2 and, uh, 13, and when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. And when he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt, and there was, and there, and was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord, by the prophets saying, out of Egypt, have I called my son. See, when we, I wish I was a baby, so the Every, prophecy, everything right? Everything was prophetic, bro. Right. Then Herod, when he saw that, that he was mocked of the wise men, was concealingly robbed, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coasts thereof for two years old, and under, right? Because, hey, it, hey, uh, I believe it was about two years that Herod waited for the wise men. But then but he never he never um he never um he never came back. The, the wise men never came back. So he found out oh, man I'm gonna get mocked. Okay, we waited all this long and he never they never came. So what did he do? That's why he said he killed all the babies for two years. Can you remember from that exact date that he met the exact time that he met the wise man? Until until then, alright. So if the Son of Man had to be born, the Son of God has to be born, yeah, the ruler of Israel, he has to be two years older. That's why he gave the account to his soldiers to kill all the babies of, 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 of Bethlehem two years and under. Okay. All the males. Right? Yeah. Try, trying to stop prophecy. Yeah. Trying to stop the Lord from coming. Yeah. Alright? Which when he let's so let's go back. It says then um then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem 
and all the coasts thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. See, according to the time that he diligently inquired of the wise men, right? Verse 17. Get Jeremiah 31 and 15. It says, Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah there was a voice heard, lamentation and weeping, and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, but will not be comforted because they were they are not. Ramah is the city in Benjamin, right? And who was Rachel's children? Right? Joseph, Benjamin. Now, Benjamin was came out of Rachel, out of uh, uh, Leah and Rachel. Alright? Rachel had Benjamin. Alright? So get Jeremiah 31 and 15. Is that precept is Jeremiah 31 and 15. Thus saith the Lord, a voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel weeping for her children refused to be comforted for her children. Right, because when Herod went and sent out that order, we had a lot of mothers crying that day. A lot of mothers and fathers crying that day. Especially if it was your firstborn, yeah. two years, they got killed. They just came in, they looked for the baby, and damn, killed them. You know? I see, I forgot what, I think it was a show, a movie, I forgot what we watched, but when they showed her an account of that, and sold the Roman soldier about to kill the baby, they're like, no, it's a, it's a girl, it's a girl, it's a girl. Like, look, 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 it's a girl. <laughs> you know? But at that time, why did everyone do that? Because he didn't want food. He didn't want Yahweh Shah to return and take away his position, not knowing that Yahweh Shah wasn't there to take the kingdom yet. Okay? He was there to, to, to come as a lamb to be the sacrifice for the nation of Israel, the song of the elect. Okay? You, you devils, you trying to stop prophecy, you doing all these things to, to try to stop the elect, man. There's nothing you can do to stop this, man. Yeah, that's why he's trying to uh, uh, mandate the juicy juice and certain things. That's why he's going to try to mandate the Karabma because he's trying to stop the, the, the elect. Yeah, he's trying to stop prophecy. But you can't stop prophecy. What's going on with it? You're feeling it. Yeah. All right? Well, right into it. Well, I got something real quick. You can't stop the prophecy. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So the saints better take the kingdom. What the brother's going into, they're not going to just give up the kingdom. You know, power isn't given. It's taken. Right? So no matter what he's going to do, no matter what he tries to do, you know, he's not going to offset these prophecies that the Most High has set up. Right? The saints are going to take that kingdom. Right? You best believe it. Revelation chapter 12, verses 4, and it says, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. Benjamin and Levi. Yeah. Benjamin and Levi. Yeah. And the dragon stood before the woman. <laughs> the dragon is the Roman Empire. Roman Empire. Which was ready to be delivered. Which the woman represents Israel. Yeah. Okay, ready to be delivered. Alright, from the hardcore uh, uh, oppression from the Romans. Alright. It says, which was ready to be delivered or to devour her child as soon as it was born. Yeah, so well, read that again. And it says, and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to which be delivered. You can also apply this to uh, Mary. Alright, the mother, the mother of uh, Yahweh Shai. Alright, ready to be delivered. For to devour her child as soon as it was born. Child, Yahweh Shai. And as soon as he was born, they were trying to devour him. Yeah. Alright? As soon as, as, soon as Yahweh Shai was, was about to be born, he was like, yeah, let me find out where he needs that. So I can come worship him. Yeah. yeah. But hey. Hey. You can't, you can't stop prophecy. Okay? There's nothing that you can do to stop it. Jeremiah chapter 31, and, uh, 37. It says, Thus saith the Lord, heaven above can be measured, and the foundation of the earth searched out beneath. I will also cast off all the seed of Israel 
for all that they have done, saith the Lord. You know, this is all uh, what this man wants. All right, you know, he wants to seek out, you know, uh, uh, space, time, all that. Man. All right, yeah, he, uh, he he thinks he can do that. All right, for the Lord, you know, to cast us out as a people. All right, that's why he's going out to space. That's why he's searching out the ocean. Yeah, he's trying to you know prove the Most High wrong. He's trying to take the Most High up on that bed. Hey, yeah. I've heard uh, NASA started to uh, go into space to go to explore the ocean. Space, huh? <laughs> no, but they couldn't. They, they can't. They, they, they figured it out they, they can't like, really explore it. Uh, yeah. They gave up on that. They went to outer space. Yeah, yeah if you go, if you could only go so far up there anyway. It's yeah. like how you can only go so far to the deep. Yeah. So All right. Create these big old telescopes, the Hubble. Yeah. That newer one, I forgot the name of it. It's more sophisticated. Send these big telescopes up there so they can search up the heavens, search up the planets. They're really not telling you what they see. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell you so much. Then I tell you what they should see. How they see chariots, yeah. angels, yeah. and how they see other planets. They wanna wanna always create that uh uh, uh hey is other planets and Mars capable to live on man. Yeah. Look, hey, I don't hey how great that technology they have, that sounds cool. They can probably see uh planets and they know it didn't yeah. 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 They know that they could, hey, he's the Lord's lounge you saw the sea. He cannot touch. Hey, window shopping. You can see everything in the store. Can't have. He can't have it. And that's what these devils gonna do. Yeah, they know what we're gonna receive. Yeah. That's why they're trying to do everything in their power to upset prophecy. Bro, if you did not do everything in the power, make a name of no remembrance, try to get us all chipped, try to attain their kingdom. They're not, man. They're gonna lose. Yeah. I see why they gave up on going to space because if you shoot so many missiles, I mean, not missiles, rockets, trying to go to outer space and all of them crash, you would give up too. You would be like, let's go explore the ocean. It's expensive. Oh, shit. He's gonna find the Biden down there, man. If he tries to go down the high, Biden's gonna bite him, you know? So he's gonna be afraid of the ocean pretty soon. Can't even get to the depth of where Leviathan is at. Nowhere now. Yeah. And you haven't even man. probably explored all of Earth, man. He has. Bro, they just found some new creatures in a in a coast. I forgot where it was. Hey, look, this, There's the like a hundred hey, of them. Dinosaurs, bro. <laughs> Not as thick, still alive. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. somewhere out there. Yeah, you find the bones and all that because yeah. of the flood. All right, but they're still alive. There's someone on Earth. Yeah, that's another lie that he told. But, uh, a comet came down, killed all the dinosaurs. How right. come the boom didn't Right. Yeah. It's the flood. Fire, fire, fire will burn everything, right? And, and the time the And hey, what, do you, what do you think you do with the ashes? You will turn into, hey, you want to cremate your body? Yeah. Burn? Yeah. Burn your body, turn into dust. You don't, you don't see the bones. The bones are not there. Bro, yeah. how come they still have the bones after so-called billions of years? Them bones would have dissolved. Bro, they even have stones of gadites. And you can look it up. Native Americans riding dinosaurs. They tell you that dinosaurs were millions of years ago. Then how the hell was the Native Americans riding dinosaurs? They don't just speak about the four footed beasts in the scriptures, you know? So man lived next to the dinosaurs. Or was it like this millions of years ago? Behemoth. 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 Jeremiah 31 and uh, 37. Thus saith the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel. It can't be. You know, it can't. So the Lord never casts our people off, man. Yeah, we're on punishment right now. Hey, but hey, the Lord's coming back for us, you know? Our faith. 
Yeah, man, we already got the victory through our faith already. We just got to keep walking in our faith. Right. We're all willing to learn, yeah. That's right. All the way to the end. Over this devil. We already won, man. We just got to play it out. He's just a sore loser that's thinking he's winning and he's going to win. Yeah. He's going to lose. Yeah, that's right. Sore loser. So so crying your eyes out because you rejected from above. It's already been written that we took the kingdom, man. Daniel just said, you know, the saints shall take the kingdom. It already describes what the kingdom should look like in Revelation. So it's already written, it's already there. You just gotta walk the path of the brother said. You just have to deal with these demons, deal with these temptations, you know. So the book of Daniel 7 and 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Oh yeah, I'm going to go to space. I'm going to go to the moon. I'm going to do this. I'm going to create this. I'm going to uh, create the future we want. Paul Schwab. You're not going to do anything. All right? the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> He's just speaking great things, you know. Like you, like you are the most high now. Like somebody put you in charge. You're not even yeah. sure. You're not even sure if you're never gonna die, man. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing you're gonna do is be the sword that the Lord created you to be. Right. Created you to take peace from the earth. That's what you did. Hey, the sword you swing it so many times, eventually it's gonna break. You know. Right. Hey, what's that lady? Uh, she said. Created to be the pearl horse. Like, uh, oh. How she said it. We were created to be the pearl horse. We are the pearl horse. Sent to punish those that uh, God wants to protect. God, I'm not quoting the word for real. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. I heard. I heard they've been showing messages of the horses. They have, to, they have to pill horse in the Olympics. Yeah, the Olympics. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know about it. Yeah. I wasn't just, oh, they just choose to pill horse. You know, they, 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 they chose it on purpose to show a sign. Yeah. Some shit's coming. Yeah. That's right. Well, the scripture says he is as dead. Esau has acknowledged that he is nothing but a, a, a dead bringer. That's it. Yeah, that Olympics, man, they were openly mocking the Lord, man. That yeah. opening ceremony. They had those moes and they did the, the Last Supper with all those moes. Hey, man. That's true, man. Hey, you can only be angry for so much. I mean, the Lord can only be angry for so much. But the Mosai is not mocked. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. You can make fun of the Mosai and make fun of his word all you want. The one that's gonna get the last laugh, it's gonna be him. Alright? People won't even have the tongue to laugh. You won't even have the spirit to laugh after the Lord has his way with you, man. It says on uh, 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change time and laws. Technology that's fucking our fucking up our peace. What he's doing with the food, the water. What he's doing with the food and the water. Yeah, man, man, he's wearing us out, bro. With his spells, the more spells you can be cast, the heavier the vibration of demonicness oh, yeah, out yeah. here, bro. bro, bro that shit wears you yeah, out, bro. You feel it, especially over LA. There's a demonic, demonic energy all over LA, man. Hell oh, yeah, yeah. Last week, when you leave LA, you feel better. Yeah. Come back. You don't even see birds out here, colorful birds. Where I'm at, all you, all you see are ravens and crows, man. Black ass crows. That's all yeah, you see. that's what I've been seeing too. It's crows and birds that, that, that eat dead people and shit. Yeah, vultures yeah. and shit. You go down south, you leave LA, you see red cardinals, you see blue jays, you see all these different birds. Literally, all, where I'm at, all you see are crows, man. It's weird as shit. Yeah, there's a dark energy over this place, man. Yo, city of Angels, right? My ass. City of Angels? 
shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. You saw things in control of time. Alright, this is, this is the time that the day ends, 12 o'clock. Midnight, when the day ends and the sun goes down. And the new day begins. You know, he, 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 he can decide to, to, to make up his own calendar, which this calendar is based off the Roman calendar. Set up his time where he could oh let's take away an hour. Let's add an hour. Right? Let's just change time and what? It laws. It laws. The scripture says pick up unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous laws, man. Like the three uh felony rule, three strike, you're out. You commit three felonies, you spent prison in life. And hey, a felony could be like a little thing too. Yeah, they got changed like, just with uh recharges, man. Yeah, like like you, you have a gun, right? Like you're in a state like California, if you're caught carrying a gun, that's a felony charge. Damn. You know? So, you know, I don't go all into it, but. Right, you mean like the income tax, you're talking about your check. That's, that's against the law. You're not supposed to have an income tax. It isn't written in like Black's Law, a dictionary, or something like that. It's like an income tax, or some type of tax that they're taxing us. You're not even yeah. supposed to do that. You know? You have the state of federal income tax, yeah. That shit is, uh, is wicked. It says, uh, it shall wear out the saints of the Most High to take the change times and laws, and they shall be given into the hand, his hand, until a time and times and the dividing of time. Well, it's 350 years since 1916, 19 to 1970, 69 when Albert Bivens came on the scene and learned his truth. The judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his uh, dominion. Yeah, the judgment shall sit. You know, no matter what you do, no matter how you go about your, your plans, no matter if you got an A to Z plan for the new world order, the judgment shall sit. The hour shah is going to rain upon you while you eat it. That's, that's, that's how it's going to go. No matter how many different ways you try to torque your new world order, try to push a new uh, plan, demonic, it don't matter. It's, it's going to be the same results. You can't go above your bounds. You can't go above your time. You can't have three seconds. You can't have one minute, nothing. All right? It says, uh, the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. Yahweh Shai and the angelic force, they're going to take away your dominion. When Yahweh Shai come back with uh, Michael the Archangel, you know, they're going to take away your dominion. That's why there's a clear prophecy in Isaiah 30, 31, I believe. Who is this that's coming from Boswell? Boswell with that garment dyed red. It's, it's 63. Because the Lord, he, he's going to visit Babylon last. Right? And when he visits Babylon, he's gonna require blood. Alright? First he's gonna come with his chariots. And he's gonna laser beam people and then he's gonna finish off America with nuclear missiles. Alright? It says 27, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Yeah, when Yahweh shall come and take the kingdom. When Yahweh Shai come and take you out of rulership, he's going to have his joint heirs with him. And the kingdom is going to be given to the nation of Israel. To these people that you have despised upon, that you have looked down upon, these people are going to rule the earth. It's going to be a shocker in that day. These people are going to rule the earth? Yep. Yes. Yep. All right? The lowest of the lowest, man, going to rule the earth. Say, this is him. And he sometimes had a derision. Right. You know? That's the only way he saw. Oh, 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 oh. 
no, 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 that's he saw addressing us. This is him who we had to bring. Right, bro. They're going to see the strangeness of our salvation. They're going to they gonna be shocked, like, what? Like, whoa. Yeah, I was he numbered among the saints. Huh? That's right, that's right. The most I really gonna make these people eat, eat they, they words, be shamefaced on how they treated us, you know? How they treated us like nothing, how they got over on us, you know? Awesome. No, just continue on, it says, uh, And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints the most, of the most high, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Everlasting, never gonna stop. Yeah, they have batteries like that, everlasting batteries. Yeah. <laughs> They're supposed to last you forever. And our rulership is gonna be forever. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah, man, there ain't gonna be no um, recession in our kingdom. There ain't gonna be no depression in our ki kingdom, no great depression. Oh, you had a golden, golden age, or you, 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 you was once glorious. Now nah, our kingdom gonna be. It's only gonna get greater and greater and greater and greater forever. Our rulership, we're never gonna go down again. The Most High is gonna right the law in our inward parts. We're never gonna break the law. You know, we're gonna always please Yahweh Hashem So we're never gonna go down again. That's the second covenant. Back in 2nd Ezra 16 and uh, verse uh, 20, what are we it says, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. Yeah, but, this is the future of America. Dead bodies out and about, you know, the stink of dead bodies, people just dying over there, 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 like it's normal, you know, because it's going to get real ugly, you know, not even the survivalists going to be able to survive when all hell breaks loose, not even the doomsday preppers, not even men that are well trained, they're all going to die, they're all, they're all going to be, even the prettiest woman going to be on the street. There's no training or preparation that can actually prepare you for that day. Not physically, but more hey, there is training and preparation spiritually. Okay. Prepare your mind for that day. The glory of Yahweh bless you, Yahweh Shah. The spirit that He has given you. Verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. There shall be no man left to till the earth, and to sow it. And the tree shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? The I mean, society ain't going to be like how it is. You have a person come out and trim the trees, you know, keep everything nice, civil civilized looking. This is going to be, let, let alone, it's going to be survival, survival of the fittest. People ain't gonna be worrying about petty stuff like putting lights in trees and making sure their yard is clean and grass is cut. Nah, man, it's gonna be a whole different you know, scenery. You know? It says, uh, the tree, uh, it says the grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For a city. There shall be left ten left. It's, it's gonna be bad to where people gonna desire to hear somebody speak to them. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be that bad, man. He's looking like uh, I am legend. Yeah, and the whole boy from uh, Castleway as well, man. Yeah, he was yeah. he was looking for somebody to interact with. Yeah, man. Hey, you know, we'll be anti-social that day. <laughs> <laughs> if they do run into somebody, they gonna fear if they gonna eat them or they gonna kill them. Yeah, too. <laughs> Uh, it says, 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 uh,
as well. For of the city there shall be ten left, and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks, as in an orchard of olives upon every tree, and every left, and there are left three or four olives. Whereas when a vineyard is gathered, gathered, there are less of busters of them that diligently seek through the vineyard. He said they go hide themselves. So you don't have people that they have their little, their little hideouts and yeah. you know, they gonna be trying to find their little secret spots. That means shit's gonna be so bad, bro. Yeah. To where people are hiding in like, in like, in a little hole up in a, a cliff of a rock or somewhere along behind a tree. It's gonna be really bad. Uh, be looking to get over other people as well, man. All right, like it speaks about in uh, Matthew's, uh, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many is gonna wax cold. Oh. All right, in those days, man, they, hey, everybody's gonna be for themselves. All right, it's gonna be worse than today. Yeah, just killing each other over. Nah, nah, that's not hard stuff. to believe. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. see how people treat each other today, man. Hey, the, the lady yeah. was just saying that, but uh, when she was walking by, she saw how like people treat each other. Man, they treat. They treat people, uh, everyone treats each other as uh, a Everyone thinks like they're the main person in this world, man. Yeah. Selfish. Yeah. Like, you know, motherfuckers don't let you merge into their lane. Yeah. Motherfuckers, you driving, you driving slow. You got a car, you driving slow, but I'm passing the officer, you're gonna drive fast. <laughs> yeah. This is another yeah. fucking car. Yeah. Or you fucking merging, right? You merging onto the freeway. Motherfuckers don't even wanna let you go. If you wanna speed, you wanna race it. Or you, or you drive on, on, on the first lane, and you pass, but the guy in the fuck kept going on the, the shoulder just to get in front of you, like, you know, it's bad, bro. Dude, road rage over a little thing, right? Yeah. This is just driving. <laughs> Even the, the lines, you got to take impatient people waiting lines, trying to find a way to cut you and shit, man. You know? No, no mercy with these people. No love, no kindness. Yeah, no grace, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no grace, no compassion. You want to decide you need to help, motherfuckers want to record you instead of actually helping you. Yeah, if you talk to the people in the world, they, the way people hold grudges is insane. Oh, the littlest shit. You know, yeah. the pettiest of shit. Nice. You know, grown men, women, I, whoever it is, man. Let that shit go. Yeah. Driving, motherfuckers, you gotta understand. Motherfuckers don't have critical thinking anymore. Yeah. This, this world lacks. They don't think of consequences of their actions. They're like these, bro. Okay? Hey, it's lucky. It. That's the, 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 the pride. Boys that love many is in a wax school. Yep. There'll be no mercy, no compassion in that day. The people have nothing to lose. Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old. So you're gonna have people still uh, going on scavenger hunts. Because no man shall travel there through. The bir it says the virgin shall mourn having no bridegroom. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Their daughter shall mourn having no helpers. Oh, because they're going to be sent off to World War III. Yep. They're going to be sent off to World War III. You know, there's going to be a lot of uh, folks that are going to die there. Second Ezra 15 and 39. And strong wind shall arise from the east and shall open it. Yeah, 
second answer was 16. Oh, okay. That's all good. That's why I wanted you to read to it to like... Oh, okay, jump down there. Yeah. It's all 16 and 39. It says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and the sorrow shall come upon it, shall come upon it on every side. Yeah, because of the plagues, everybody's in fear. They're gonna start losing family members. They going they themselves are gonna get ill. Yeah. You know, the world gonna mourn, man. And we see what's going on with these plagues, how that they're created and the agenda behind them. You know, so people gonna mourn when, when the plagues keep coming. Says, uh, oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to battle, and in those evils, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So how do you make you ready to the battle? Uh, get the Ephesians, putting on the whole armor, the truth. Yeah, it starts right now. This is how you get ready for the battle that's coming. This is how you're going to prepare yourself spiritually and mentally. Uh, Ephesians 6, uh, 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Yes. The whole armor is this truth. You know? Put, put on this truth. Put it into action. Put it into your life. That's what you got to do. You're doing all that you can. The scripture says when you please, you're supposed to seek the Lord uh, ten times. Ten times more. Roughly paraphrasing. So when you get this truth, man, keep service, keep building that relationship with Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. Put on this truth. Make it, make it your life. You know, that you may withstand uh, the wiles of the devil. That you may do it all stand in that evil day, giving it your all. So when that time comes, Lord willing, Lord will protect you. You know, but uh, that's all I got. Close up. And Lord willing is edifying to the point, and giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, 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 Bahash